Hello, hello there, friends. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing amazing. Just getting some uh, final link stuff uh, posted for Twitter. Then yeah, we'll be getting going. Cloudy, hello. Glad you're doing amazing. That's good to hear. I love the Wild Frost music. It is so good. Okay. Y'all ready for the model? You ready to see this? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm very happy with how the model turned out. <laughs> it, it's kind of surreal and interesting to like see myself like this now instead of like the real me, which I've like seen for so many years, you know? Definitely me. Ah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so here's the model. Very happy with it. I'm still figuring out some hand tracking stuff. Like it's a, like, I only have like this narrow band to work with for hand tracking. So I, I want to figure out something better for that. But other than that, I'm, I'm very happy with how um, all the tracking stuff is going. Uh, and future stuff will include like better blend shapes for my face for, um, better face tracking and like better expressiveness there. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the model. Uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out in VR chat as well. So yeah. Okay, without further ado, let's hop into some Wild Frost here. So yeah, um, Wild Frost, I deeply love this game. Uh, I, I may have played about two hours of my life with it. Uh, let's see. Not, not two hours, two days, two days of my life. Um, we're at 52 hours. Um, I posted a tweet where I beat the, the true final ending and that was uh, like just under two days worth of gameplay. So that, that was certainly something. Um, but yeah, uh, 70 or a 7% win, <laughs> win rate. Uh, it's, it's quite something. <laughs> okay. Um, so goals for this section the the winter not when I, I keep saying winter frost it's wild frost um the goals for this section um i want to get uh some more gosh i how do i actually move this i i usually play this on my steam deck so i don't actually know how to move this oh it's scroll yep that's so intuitive you scroll down to move right yep anyways i, I want to get some of these achievements so like tough nut um one punch uh ice master uh i don't know what that one is but you know just trying to get um these ones including shooting for the achieve a three win streak so that that's what we're shooting for today um just before stream uh i won so we are now trying for the win streak that is like the big thing that we're going to be shooting for right here so yeah um i think i think the order of my favorite is the summoning group the gnome group and then the the snow group like th this one's there's some interesting stuff, but like they're not my favorite. I I'd much rather just go for um, this guy. Yeah, two strikes. Yeah. Let's go with that and we'll get a little gazzy, which gives plus one. Okay. Let's get Gazzy out here. And then... Let 
Let's just go ahead and take out the snow. Apply Blizzard after this. I want to take out the Winter Worm. Hmm. The the amount of like pre-planning and like thinking through. Like what's best to do where I, I I really enjoy this game for um like there, there's there's so much strategy to it like I, I absolutely adore it uh let's just go ahead and do this no we should do this yeah we'll do this and then so that's eight we can do this. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and do this, increase some health. Let's do... So doing combos gets you more money. And definitely, like, trying to get as much money as possible for the shop is really important. We're under 50, so that's a little bit lower than what we would hope for. But we're going to get some money here. Okay. Uh... On kill, restore health. Add thorns to everyone. Hmm. I think we're going to go with Big Berry. At least for the first one. Ooh, I really want to go with Monch. Do we do a summoning build? <sighs> I think we might do a summoning build. No, Monch is really hard to face off in the end. Um, let's let's do Shen. Um, let's get a Junjun out. And then... Ally in the row. Okay, so this one will be fine. So we should do this to prevent my attack from being lowered. So Barrage would attack all allies in the row here, and we definitely don't want that right now. bring out yeah let's bring out Gazzy hmm 
Let's let Shen take a hit. And then Big Berry should... I'd like to give Big Berry Barrage, I think. Would that be good? Because it would... Um, there's charms which add like additional abilities and barrage is good but it gives like minus two attack so I don't know how helpful that actually is hello hello welcome to the stream Got to take the mimic into account there. Fallen Angel. Okay, so this will apply to. I think if we do this, it'll take this row out. Ah, it's aimless. I forgot about the aimless. <laughs> uh Unfortunate. <laughs> Face mask? Um... Is this a hashtag I don't know about? <laughs> When hit, apply two to a random enemy. Let's do this. That will cause this one to explode. Doing two here. And then this will be able to do six. Okay. And then heal everyone. Excellent, excellent. I know there's like certain um, VTuber plugin things like um, Vignon and stuff. And I, I'm, as I'm learning more, I, I'll probably add more of those types of things in. I, I just don't currently have them, you know? that one hmm. we want to I'm trying to figure out if if there's a way we can take out both of these in the same turn. You know what? If we lower this to two, then when this one dies, it'll make this one explode. We'll just let that one take the hit. Nice, nice. <laughs> Sometimes the hands like keep tracking for like a super long time and I don't know what causes that. <laughs> um, Charm Merchant? Charm Merchant? 
Charm Merchant's usually pretty good. But Bling Snail on the way to a Wooly Snail, I think that's better. Nope, my hand's being tracked again. Okay, here's the, the Barrage Charm I was talking about. Do we... Put that onto this one. Berry. Mm. The other option is I could put it onto Shen after I get another charm for increasing attack. And then that would apply the flame to multiple. The, the overburn to multiple enemies. Maybe that's what I go with. That that might be a uh, a better decision overall. Yeah, let's go for that. Noomlin. Noomlin on this would be pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab a crown. And we'll put that onto Shen. Yeah, let's put that onto Shen. Oh. I kind of want the pink berry juice. But then I went. You know what? I don't need the Noomlin. The Noomlin would just be nice to have. Ooh, Moko Charms, also pretty good. So Moko Charm would be guaranteed six damage, whereas Barrage would be three six or nine damage so barrage is like better in some occasions but like moko charm is more consistent yeah it's interesting um yeah moko charm might be better here and then barrage here but of course for both of those i need to well what's my hand doing <laughs> Um, for both of those, I, I, I need to get more attack here if I want to put a charm on there. Boss one, let's go. I wish I had yank for pulling enemies forward. Let's get the countdown to start going. would bring it down to 12. This would be 8, so that would bring it down to 10. Let's go ahead and do this. I think this will be better for the immediate time. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Takes out the entire enemy group. So we can lead Gazzy in, actually. I was thinking we were going to need to bring Gazzy out. The volume sounds a little bit loud for streaming, actually. Oh, it was playing sound effects. I was like, uh, what happened? <laughs> um... Let's freeze this one, and we'll work on taking out this one. 
Uh, Junjun can take the hit. Okay, and then four. Let's do it all in this row here. Nice. 3x combo, very happy with that. And then... Um... Let's go ahead and take three hits here. Can I do this? Looks like I might be able to. Let's go for it. Oh, it didn't bring down the count, though. That's interesting. Um, I can do this. one win I die a lot to this boss so I, I'm glad that I was able to get past it there's um two rounds of bosses and then the final boss or is it three rounds of bosses and then the final boss I forget um let's get charm Well, that's a pointless charm. That would be to put onto clunkers, and I have zero clunkers. Thanks, game. <laughs> Very helpful. Ooh, Bonnie. Um. I think we get rid of Gazzy. Like, if we lean heavily on these two. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Double the target's overburn? Yeah, that's pretty good. And then apply three frost. Let's... Let's do that. There's some scary enemies that we could be facing up against. You know what? We'll take four hits there. That'll actually be pretty good. Um. Look at that. Already up to five. Restores two. Yeah, that'll be fine. I think that will count as a kill. I'm not certain on that, though. So I guess we'll see. If I do this, though, definitely it will. Yep, 
Yeah. And Junjun here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get some more demon eyes again, but then we can double, so it will go up to 12, and then this should, um, uh, this one won't get the kill, though. I think that's fine to not have it have the kill. Let's do this. Make sure that Shen has enough health. And double to 16. Yeah, let's do it. So I normally play this on my Steam Deck, and the music sounds so much richer listening to it on computer because like I have a better headset here versus like the little small Steam Deck speakers. The Steam Deck speakers are good but like headphones make it like a much more full and enriching um, sound experience, you know? Great for what they are, exactly, but not the full experience. Let's see if this counts as a kill for this guy. No, it does not. Okay, good to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this game is incredibly fun. It is incredibly difficult. It took me... Uh, my first win in this game was after almost 24 hours of gameplay time. And then the true ending was almost 48 hours of gameplay time. Like, it, it's it's very fun, very fulfilling, very difficult. I mean, l let's look at my win percentage again. Um, 7%. <laughs> I have six victories, one vanquish, which is like true ending and 99 losses like it's it's difficult but very fun very fun uh let's let shen get hit it'll be two damage because of demonize but that should be fine and then yeah let's get big berry to have a little bit more health Um, we could go for combo, but let's just get Porcupine out of there. And another Frost Bloom. I'm glad I chose the Frost Bloom. I don't normally take it, but I don't know. Something felt right <laughs> for doing it today. Okay, so it will apply 10. This will do 5, so 19 with 10... Yeah. Let's just do that. And then there we go. Boom. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da. Uh, 
Um, see, I have 64. We definitely need to go here. When an ally is hit, restore their health by one. Since we're kind of going for a health hit build, I think that makes sense. Also, this this is my hand in frame, and like I move it an inch to the right, another inch to the right. Yeah, like it's weird. Sometimes it tracks my hand pretty far out, but then sometimes it just loses track of it. Like I I don't know what the edge range like there. Like I I just rotated my hand and it lost track. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm still learning the limits of the hand tracking stuff and and there's some options I've seen like mounting above but I would need to move my like mic position and stuff like there there's stuff I need to test out try out you know and then suddenly teleports <laughs> yeah like I I think the I think the above um like mounting it above me is better from what i've heard uh but again with where i currently have my mount mic mounted i would need to move it someplace else uh like not block my monitors and not block the tracker and all that stuff like it, it's it's a little bit interesting trying to figure out where to put it at you know um i think i'm pretty set with my team i don't need to get somebody new so i'm gonna go for more money Hello, I like money. Demonize. Hmm. I could put that... Let's see. So it would be three and then another six to get up to nine damage total. But then that would also leave another demonize behind for one of these other ones. Probably Big Barry to attack again. I think that sounds worthwhile. Like, for hand tracking, I have a hand over on my mouse. Like, if I have the second hand on my keyboard, see, my hand comes up and it's, everything's fine. But, like, put my hand over here for my mouse and it just loses track of it. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking about my hands. <laughs> or I will try to anyways. Ah, this fight. This one sucks. Um... So this one will add aimless to all of my teammates. And then this one adds um, teeth, which is kind of like thorns in other games. Uh, like, it's interesting. They called it teeth. It's like different aesthetically, but it's like the same mechanic as thorns. Uh, <laughs> so basically, whenever you hit one of these enemies, you deal three damage, you, like you take three damage, but it doesn't count as a hit for like this ability. So yeah. I'll I'll go ahead and bring this out. And then I'm going to try and take this one down. It's important to take down Maro as soon as possible. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and freeze Smog, even though I had the reroll. No! Ah, rip Shen.
Okay. Two damage, I'm fine with that. Let's get Big Barry out. And let's get Bonnie out. Uh, let's bring out Junjun. And we might as well get one hit in on the goblin. Goblin gives four gold. Um, or four bling it's called uh, you get four bling every time Which is okay, you know, it's not amazing not awful, but like might as well get a little bit of money while we can I'm gonna take two damage from this here. I Think that's fine though Yeah, and then this one's scary. Trigger when hit. So it does five damage. I think the frost reduces by one at a time. So this will count as a hit. So anything that has the attack here, even if it's zero damage, counts as a hit. So this is going to cause for it to trigger. I think we do this. Yeah, I think we do this and then do this. Oh no, okay. So that's not worth doing. Good to know. Boom, 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 boom. Um. We'll take the damage here and we're going to freeze Mawjaw. So when it's frozen, it won't attack back, which is important. Very important. One damage. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take that there. Let's just go ahead and take out Smog. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. This heart station is putting in work. <laughs> um... Yeah, nine damage here. I think that'll be pretty good. Yeah, let's just take just take out Grumble. It's just like a process of slowly taking down the enemy. You see, that's no good. We'll bring in a Junjun. Also, when I'm stretching my hands, uh, <laughs> hand stuff looks weird. Okay. I 
think having Junjun die to Maja here is perfectly fine. Yeah, let's do that. Also, Heart Miss Station combining with the... Um... What's it called? The Sunburst Tutu? Very good. Very good. Um... We don't have the snow. That is unfortunate. If we hit this, it will die when... Oh, but Vostin is quite a bit away. Hmm. I think I just re-roll here. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, and then... Since we don't have Shen, this battle is a lot tougher and a lot more thinking needs to go into it. Um... Oh, my going live tweet. I forgot to put the VTuber stuff. Ugh. I need to remember to do that now. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. I'll use the the indicators when I Yeah. I, I'm planning to tweet again like each time we switch games, so I'll I'll just do that. Okay. So Ooh. This might unfreeze and then we're going to hit it twice. I'm going to assume that's the case. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to assume that's the case. Nope, doesn't unfreeze till later. Okay. Much better than what I thought was going to happen. Um, let's just re-roll. Uh, why are the cards stuck like that? <laughs> okay. Let's bring out another Jun Jun. We get snow, we get snow. There we go. That was a very long fight. That was a ridiculously long fight. Oh. Okay. So, oh my goodness, I forget that that's not a boss. Um, I think this is the final boss before the big fight. Muncher. We're not really using tar blades that much. Hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of some tar blades. You get to destroy two cards out of Muncher. Ooh. Uh, 
Yeah, we get this. We get this. Um, I don't think adding Barrage or Moko makes sense because this is equal to damage dealt. And that would be just one. Um... This on the Heartmiss station? Hmm. Yeah, let's get this on the Heartmiss station. And then let's get a grabber just because. Oh, I forgot to open my drink. Yeah, it's sprayed everywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it is about this particular flavor of Mountain Dew, but like sometimes it's like overfilled. Like I opened it. And like, it's not that like, oh, it had a fizzy explosion. It's been sitting there for a while and I carefully moved it over. No, no, it is above the opening of the can liquid wise. And this isn't like, oh, this is a one-off thing. I have this quite frequently. <laughs> VTuber, you look so disappointed in it spraying everywhere. Uh... <laughs> Well, you know. As you do. Uh, <laughs> you can heal your companions by... Yes, thank you. Thank you, game. I, I wish there was a way to turn this off. It's like, I, I know. I know, game. I, I know that I could do this. I've been playing for... <laughs> I've been playing for 52 hours to stop telling me about it. Um, deploys to the back of the row. Can I just pull it to the front, though? No, I cannot. Okay, cool. Uh, what flavor? Um, this is Mountain Dew Spark. It is a raspberry lemonade flavor. I really like it. Uh, it's probably my third favorite flavor of Mountain Dew. Um, of course, Baja Blast, I like more. <laughs> and then um, uh, there was a flavor, I forget its name, but it was like only available in Canada and now it's apparently discontinued. So like my, my favorite flavor isn't even available anymore. So of course, of course, you know. <laughs> um, let's see, three turns for that. Stop telling me about that game. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And then, mm, I am going to heal Shen and reroll. Bonnie out there. Let's see. This will be nine damage. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Wish you could get Baja Blast in the UK. Yeah, like Baja Blast is weird. Like so many people really like Baja Blast, right? But like the only way you could get it outside of Taco Bell was like at gas stations, but like that stopped happening. And then there was like a period of time in which you could get it as like cans in stores, but that stopped happening. It's like, why, why do you not sell 
two liters of like these really popular flavors like there there was voltage and code red that they also sold as two liters but like i think they've mostly stopped or like greatly reduced like the amount of those that are sold like it's it's weird that oh here's this thing that everyone loves let's not have it be available <laughs> like i don't know it's, it's just very weird to me uh let's throw no we should do this this is gonna suck Smack back. Counter attack after taking a hit. So counter attack hits the person that attacked. So that's going to be dangerous for here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, shit. Um, I think we definitely re-roll. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, gonna kill me <sighs> I think heart station needs to go let's see I take this down this brings it to eight and one so I can do the no I can't do that if I do So this will be eight to here. This will be one to here. I think we recall heart miss station. You're right. Yes, there is the, the hard Mountain Dew, but Hard Mountain Dew only comes in a four pack here in the US. Um, original flavor, Baja Blast, Black Cherry, which actually Black Cherry is the best of the bunch. Um, and then Watermelon. The watermelon flavor sucks. It, it, it is just horrendous. <laughs> I, I really don't like it. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, that's, uh, scary. Yeah. Get this. There's a variety pack of Red Bull that is a uh, variety in heavy quotes. It is original flavor. Uh, it is the original flavor of Red Bull. It is the light version of Red Bull and watermelon flavor. Those are the three drinks that they chose in that variety pack. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what, what, what is that? <laughs> So, there, there's some good watermelon flavors. The Mountain Dew watermelon flavor is really awful. Uh, also, I've lost here. There's nothing I can do. Um, like even healing two here, I die. Yeah, I've lost. Oh, well. Rip. Okay. <sighs> so our win streak is over. Um, We could go for a shell build. We could go for, like, eventually using the scrappy sword. 
Stacking block. I don't know what this one is. Um, I don't know what this one is. It's modded Minecraft, of course. <laughs> um, let's do the daily. Enemies have plus one, plus one. Counter increased by two. Uh, that's rough. A roguelike deck builder humble bundle currently. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I I like the uh, whoa. What's hand? Hello. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, I have my hand up here when I'm using my mouse. <laughs> um, hmm. What do we think? Do we want to do the daily or do we want to do another run? I'm up for whatever. Maybe the daily. Foggy brew, gear hammer, sun cream. Is warmed up enough daily? Yeah, I, I played um some Wild Frost immediately before stream, so I'm pretty uh, warmed up for Wild Frost stuff. Yeah, I love the music for this. I, I need to get like the soundtrack. No bag. <laughs> um. This is actually kind of scary here. Let's do this. I think I need to redraw. Yeah, I needed another teammate. Because otherwise, I'm gonna die. <laughs> um... No bag sounds like an insult. <laughs> it does indeed. Um... Ah, uh, this has consume? Oh, that's awful. <laughs> this companion's like the worst companion. Like, <laughs> there is no reason that you would want this companion. <laughs> um... Let's pull out this one. This is one of the starter companions too. It's hog headed, which means you can't like recall it. Like this one you can recall, but but this one you cannot. And it, it, it just has two teeth. Wow. What an amazing companion. Hog headed with four health and it has teeth. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Wait, this one starts with... Why? Oh my goodness. This is an awful daily. <laughs> this is like truly horrendous. Um... Well, we'll do that and then... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I was wondering why they seem stronger. They, they have that. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when's the next Divinity Original Sin 2 stream? Uh, it was supposed to be yesterday, but uh, one of our people was 
was sick so it will be on monday is the next stream it's it's always monday friday for for those streams so yeah um might as well get this counting up I think we just need to do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is actually a scary fight. Um. I think I've lost, actually. Because two. Yeah. There's literally nothing I can do. I've lost. Yep. <laughs> First fight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was an awful daily. I, I, that, that was really bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Negative 65 points. Global rank 150. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so good. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, that that team sucked. <laughs> Blame no bag a little bit, yeah. Uh, love that game. Was tempted to try others in the series, but from what you hear, they are different and a bit old in the tooth these days. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, I, I can't believe that I'm 150 with a score of negative six. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, what's... Okay, top scores. Like, there were some people who actually won. But, like... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Back to town. <laughs> um, We definitely have time for one more run. Uh, gain plus one when an ally is killed. Ooh. And plus two to all, all allies. Ooh. Okay. Do we so go for a scrappy sword build or do we just go for a really fun build? Oh, but this build's also fun. I love the trash builds. Um. One, two, or three. <laughs> like all three of these seem really fun. Because if we look at cards, right? So, plus one when an ally is killed, we combine that with Monch. This one is good for the, the trash build. Um, you can see that this companion is so bad that I have literally never used it. <laughs> this one's decent. I, I just don't use it that often. Hmm. I'm going to spin a wheel. Uh, wheel of names. Um, Bright Saw, Clunk Nom, and Asher. Here we go. Clunk Nom. We're going with Clunk Nom. <laughs> um, and then let's see. He has double attack, so let's go with Gazzy. Gazzy is like the one you choose like 95% of the time. With a name that weird, it has to be good. So I actually see where that name comes from. So there's there's clunkers, um, which, uh, for instance, this is a clunker uh, because it has this scrap health instead of normal health. Uh, and then there's um, nom for gnome. So that like this is a gnomish uh, clan of people. So 
yeah so clunk nom like it, it makes sense when you break it down but yeah it is kind of a weird name <laughs> um okay let's just take down the snarl Let's do this. Okay. Let's bring out Gazzy. Another one here. Nice. Big Peng. Oh, I should have inked him. That's my bad. Now he's going to get strong. One, two, three. I think I let myself take two damage here and then bring out Junkhead. Three hits. I think that's fine. Let's just re-roll. A little bit of a combo. Not a huge one, but something. Also, you see how much junk we have. Uh, we definitely need to start getting something that will use <laughs> the junk. Um, so... Instead of more companions, actually, what types of companions are there? Um, um, trash when hit. Card is destroyed, gain plus one. Yeah, excuse me. Um, Mini Mika could work well with junk, but like, eh. When card is destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way. Less companions to start with. Um, Snow Cake's just really good. Yeah, let's not rely on hits. Let's go with Snow Cake. Oh, I don't really need more trash. Um, when hit with junk, gain plus one or, or uh, times one frenzy. Hmm. I think I take mini Mika for right now. I have so much junk. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, let's bring in Gazzy. Let's 
some ink here. Okay, and then let's bring out Mika. Okay, and so what I can do is start applying hits to Mika, which will make her stronger. go and then let's go ahead and bring in junkhead we just need to hit Mika with more junk just have to you know Uh, but we can't re-roll yet. We have more junk to use. <laughs> um. And then actually, instead of hitting again, I think this is a plus six increase instead of a plus three increase. So this is worthwhile doing. Uh, first, let's bring this up here. And then do this. Oh my goodness. Almost took out the entire enemy group in one go. I don't usually take Mika, but I don't know. It's something about this is feeling pretty good. <laughs> uh, Shade Sculptor. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I really want to copy. Maybe the Snow Zooka, but... Hmm. But the Gnome Traveler could have some good stuff. Let's go up. Restore two on kill. Three, three, three. Mm. Hold on. Adds times six to an item in your hand. Recycle seven. What the fuck? <laughs> um. Uh, can't talk right now. What's up? Like. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, just a second. I, I just texted my mom that, like, she she's calling me. Yeah. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, that that was uh, just, <laughs> it was a butt dial on her end, and then I did her like a response text, and then she thought I was calling her, and so it was this whole back and forth, whatever. <laughs> um, I think we get the Cloudberry here. Um, restore two on kill. I think that would be pretty good on Mini Mika. This is like interesting, but you need seven junk in your hand. If you had eight junk in your hand though,
but what if it accidentally recycles the wrong thing like oh that, that could be really good but you could accidentally recycle the wrong thing which is like really scary to think about you know so I, I'm, I'm not gonna tempt fate with that one it, it, it's it's an interesting in concept card but not one that i actually want to use Um, apply one frost. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I just, like, it just clicked for me. I can use Jumbo with a, 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 a teammate that has a hit ability. And that would cause for, like, the hit counter to charge up. I, that just clicked for me. That, that's actually really good. That's a lot better than what I, I initially thought. I was like, why would you want Jumbo to hit your own team? It's for the hit builds. That That's really good. Um, doesn't work with my current build, but I'll keep that in mind for the future. Um, Let's go with... Let's go with Snuffle. Okay. Anything that has recycle. Mm. I think we take Bink and grab her. Yeah, Bink. And come on. Grab her. I don't know why it wasn't letting me select it. Hmm. <laughs> I think we use Bink in a couple of turns. Let's use this first. And then let's use this. And then we can Bink. And then we can do this. But there's not barrage, so I can just do that. Um, yeah, so let's do this and this. Mm -hmm. I did unmute, good. work towards killing this one. And it actually... Let's re-roll. Let's bring Snuffle in. Barrage. Um. Let's see, that's two, three, two there. And let's bring in Mini Mika. another two there. I think we bring Miko over there. Yeah. Um... 
I think this is fine, the current positioning, actually. Nice. Okay. Bink, where are you? There we go. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and bink right away. Shoot, I'm in a pretty rough place here. I think we're just, like, not trying to kill the rest of the stuff. I think we're just going for, like, the win, you know? Uh, one will do that. So that's 15 damage here. Okay. So two, four... I think we have Stoffel die here. Go down to two here. Yeah. Uh, we can do this and get a little bit of extra gold by doing that. There we go. Okay. Bell of Redraw. I hate the name of this one. Sun Bell of the Bell. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> like, it's talked about this bell down here, but, like, of hands, of fellowship. Like, these two have, like, pretty cool names. Sun Bell of the Bell. What? <laughs> uh. Um... I think in this case, I'm having so much junk that I want Sunbell of Hands. I want to be able to select through the stuff a bit easier. I, and I think that's my big difference. Like, junk builds, I go with... Um, Sunbell of hands first, but like pretty much every other build I go with Sunbill of Bell first and then like, you know, I, I Like sometimes I go with companion versus hands like th that's that's sort of up in the air, but yeah um Another companion Let's not go for companion right now. I Really need something to use recycle with Or we could add more. You know, if we get... Yeah. We're going to go with this. We'll get a um, crown. Not on that, because we need another crown first. Um, yeah, so let's equip this crown onto Mika. Um, um, boom. Molten Dip is pretty good. And this is on sale? I think we go Molten Dip, Frost Bloom. We have a lot of cards. Let's just go with some charms. <clears throat> Spark. Um, we can put Spark on here. That'll give me trash right away to use with Mini Mika. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Ooh. And gain consume though. Mm. This will actually be pretty good on here. Not right now, but in the future it will be good when we get like another crown. Because then I can stack eight onto here. Yeah. Nope, wrong button. Let's go to battle. Okay. And then here? Oh, I don't get to play those right away? That's unfortunate. Two damage and that's fine. Um bomb barrel. So that's going to be six damage here. Eight damage. Let's get Snoffle out here. combo <sighs> um I think we do this and then let's just keep powering up Mika if I really need something else I can redraw but this is ridiculously strong <laughs> This is a little bit scary, though. Um, this will make things better. Uh, Mika's too strong. Oh, I should have done that. That would have killed the enemy. So that's 36 damage that Mika would do. Yeah. Mika's pretty strong. I think... Unless something really bad happens, I think we have this in the bag. <laughs> um... More money? I think more money. Um... Plinker's pretty good. Um... Hmm... This one I can't use with the current clunker I have. Um. I 
I think we take Plinker specifically for one of the final fights that has a lot of um, ice. Nah, we take Mimic. Mimic's better. <laughs> uh, and then we'll go this way. I'm all wishy-washy about it. <laughs> Nam and Stompy. I'm gonna take Nam and Stompy. If I had Spark still, I'd probably put it onto Nam and Stompy. Because Spark doesn't work the way I was hoping it would. Um... Yeah, I think we pull out Nam and Stompy for now. Um... I think we just get rid of the aimless right away. I'll be down to two health. Yeah, let's do it. Painful. Just keep hitting with junk. Mildly scary like this. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we re-roll. And we hope we find Gazzy. Th this is good. Do this. Two here, one here. You know what? We can do this though. I still think I went with the right decision for a clunk nom here. Miko's gonna die here. I need to pull her out. lost there's literally nothing I can do here because this is going to apply thorns yep ah well rip <laughs> unfortunate Okay, 
We're an hour and a half in. Should I try and do one more run before switching over to Peglin, or do we start Peglin early? Like, both, I think, are good options. Let's see what options are here, right? Apply three, apply two, smack back. Mm. So applying ink is actually usually good, but there's some times in which applying ink is detrimental. If we do another run, I think we use Jaten here. And then do a an overburn build. Yeah. Let's let's go ahead and do this. Let's use Jaten. Um and then little Gazzy. Mm, let's move Gazzy here. We'll do this. We'll freeze the snolf. And then I think if we do this, it'll get like a 3x kill. Yeah. <laughs> Cloudy, um, have you seen the, uh, the aftermarket screen for the Steam Deck? It's a 1080p. 1080p class screen instead of a uh, 720p class screen. I'm like both interested in it, but also worried about like how that affects battery life and all that. You're in the Discord for it. Very cool. Um, I'm. It's it's interesting like the marketing for it like the the valve page cl claims like one standard but then like the discord is using a different standard what the heck is I need to pull up the software for the hand tracking stuff um um it is called Ultra Leap Tracking. There we go. I want to see what my hands are like. What it's tracking at that time. $99. Ugh. The same amount of power. Okay, that that's cool. That's good. And I'm, I'm curious about color accuracy. Because like the Steam Deck screen is apparently not super color accurate. And this new one sounds a lot more color accurate. But I'm also not positive about that, you know? Yeah, running at a higher resolution, yeah. But what I was thinking is, like, um, if I'm playing Persona 5, I could use a higher UI resolution, but then keep the um, uh, game at the same resolution and make just make it a little bit easier to see UI elements and stuff. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Ultra Leap. There it is. Uh, open control panel. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I, I'm I'm I don't know how to bring this in super well, but like I, I I'm now watching what my hands are doing and will try and determine what's going on. Oh, it sees this paper as part of my fingers. Gotcha. Okay. So that that'll actually maybe help? Yeah. There's a little scrap of paper over here. Try like live troubleshooting, like, okay, there there was some white paper and it thought that was a continuation of my finger. <laughs> Higher color accuracy, but we'll see, yeah. Still have things to fit in your Steam Deck, but uh, couldn't open it last you tried. You couldn't open it? Like, couldn't open the Steam Deck? Ooh. Cable's getting in the way. That's part of the issue. Okay. Sorry for getting distracted. I'm, I'm just, like, trying to troubleshoot and figure out what is going on. We'll do this. One of the screws wouldn't come loose. Oof. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna move my hand tracking stuff a little bit. Like... Gosh, the, the hand tracking stuff is like prob probably the most finicky part of the whole VTubing setup. Gosh, now am I going to get this back onto my shirt? I have one of those GoPro um, chest mount things, um, but I just need to 3D print the adapter for holding the... Um, oh, it's definitely tilted. I, I still need to 3D print the... Um, uh, is this right? Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay. Um, I still need to 3D print the adapter to work with the GoPro mount. So, yeah. Um, the Gnome Traveler is generally just bad when you have... Um, uh, when you're not playing the Gnome characters. So we'll go the other way. Leech mask. Leech mask is pretty good. Let's go with leech mask. Add three to all allies. Mm. Deal six damage to self and allies in row. Um. For now, I think we take bomb bomb. If we get the durian, bomb bomb's really good. Um, let's do this, and then the tutu. Um, and then let's just re-roll. The leech mask actually pairs with bomb bomb pretty well because bomb bomb can take the health um 
let's do this and just let oh shoot <laughs> uh okay yep that's uh that's certainly a thing that happened <laughs> Do this. The veiled lady. Um, We just do this and then we return bomb bomb we pull out bomb bomb and then return bomb bomb <laughs> um yeah here we go nice lot of money let's go this way pom bomb yeah yeah probably pom bomb uh and then if we get the charm that makes it so that it's overburned that makes it really good Okay, equip this to probably Gazzy, and then this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get it, and then let's get two charms. Yank. Uh. And smack back. Um, smack back, you say, huh? Smack back with barrage could be interesting. I'd rather get a durian on it because if if I get the durian, um, where is it at? Durian. Plus five, remove all effects. So then it won't deal damage to itself and enemies or, or teammates. Uh, so it's like a 12 attack card. Doesn't have barrage anymore. But then we could add smack back to it and then that's 12 damage as smack back. That, that would be pretty good. Yeah. And I don't know, Yank is like so specific that, yeah. Um, let's just go ahead and use Pom Bomb right away. Yeah.
Mm. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to add two. So it's the same damage either way to here. So I think that's worth doing. Get bomb bomb out. Mm, let's do that. Okay. one. I don't know why I didn't. Just not thinking clearly, I guess. Let's just do this. I'll bring me down to nine here. Nope, um, eight here. I'll take six damage. That'll be fine. This will take me to seven. Yeah, I'm fine with this. There we go. Nice. Whew. All tilted. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Um. Yeah, let's go this way. We're going to get to see a decent number of charms, it looks like. Lumen ring. Um, apply four, apply plus two, count down by three. Gosh, there's a lot of good options here. It might be count down by three. Yeah, let's count down by three. I think that's pretty good. Double the target's flame. Or we get Bonnie. I think we're all in on the Bon Bon. Or, or Bomb Bomb. Um, so I think we get Bonnie. To help keep... Uh, Bomb bomb afloat. Take a look at my enchanting collection of charms. Spark. This barrage. Ooh. Battle charm. Yeah. 
I think we get the bling charm. And then... Do we get spark? Hmm. So ADHD squirrely today. Been trying to focus on multiple things and not been able to focus on anything. Oof. I feel that. Spark. Do I want spark here? I could use spark on Jayton to get apply three. We could put it on Bomb Bomb, but then Bomb Bomb would have. It would deal seven damage barrage or eight maybe with Gazzy, but then deal six damage to themselves. Like immediately. When deployed. Cannot be recalled. Okay, Spark makes it so you cannot recall them. That That's good to know. Um, I, I don't know why it doesn't just put, like, hog-headed as part of it. Like, yeah. I think we don't go for Spark. I think Spark just doesn't um, make sense in this case. Oh, this fight sucks. Ugh. Okay. Um. I think we're... <sighs> Fuck. Especially against grumps over here. Like, Grog is fine. Grumps is what sucks. When hit, reduce the attacker's, like, damage by one. mask out. <laughs> yeah, we might need to re rely entirely on overburn. Goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think this will be fine. Yeah. No, thank you. Still have to kill the leech in the end, but 
the leech is so much more manageable than like anything else you're gonna face against Definitely have to recall pom pom. <sighs> this is a dangerous fight. King Moko, um, the the only way I've survived one of his attacks is having a full set of like summoned creatures with just. <laughs> Like, j just kept summoning things, basically. So it's like a race against time. Hmm. Here's where Yank would be good. I need Moko at the front. lost I think One, two, three, four, and that's five. Fourteen. No, that doesn't work. Yep. I'll do that. Oh, but, but then, yeah, he got hit, so added more pepper. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay. Ugh. Well, I think we had some good runs. Um, losses are just part of Wild Frost. I keep saying Winter Frost. It's, it's part of Wild Frost, um, but I still enjoy this game so much. I play it all the time. I have... Maybe too much time in this game. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's take a really quick break. Mm, excuse me. Uh, let's take a really quick break. Um, I will tweet about switching games. Um, and then uh, I should also add a timestamp in the uh, description. But yeah, um, just quick like five-ish minute break and then we'll uh start playing some peglin so yeah be right back folks
Okay, I am back. Uh, we will resume the gameplay in just a moment. Uh, just adding timestamps and stuff like that. So this is Wild Frost, and then 20500 Peglin. Or maybe I put the timestamp now, which is um, 209, maybe 210. There we go. Peglin. Save. Okay. Exit and then start Peglin. Okay. Here, we'll do camera like this while I'm working on typing up this tweet. Oh my goodness. So loud. Oh my goodness. Uh. Sixty percent for both? Maybe sure. Eight fifty four percent. That seems good for now. <laughs> um a quote tweet uh switching from Wild Frost over to Peglin. Uh, still another six hours total to go. Make sure to enter into the giveaway and hope to see you all in stream. VTuber in VTuber, uh, VTuber Uprising and Debut, maybe VTuber Debut. There we go. There we go. Delayed but loud noises. Yes, it was. You can tell that I haven't played much Peglin. <laughs> So the, the, the volume was just at max. <laughs> Couldn't find the tab. Sorry about that. I was also surprised by loud noises. <laughs> um, okay. Let's hop on in. Play. Would you like a boost? Um, bombs deal 10 extra damage. Heal one for every peg hit while successfully navigating after battle. Take no damage from missed navigation. That, the miss, no damage from missed navigation is pretty nice. Ooh, we'll go with that. So this is a, I, I forgot to switch over to this and also the colors are very wrong. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Um. Uh, I, I didn't mean for the flashing to happen. I am so sorry about that. Uh, where is it at? This. Deactivate. Activate. There we go. Sometimes my capture card just does weird things. <laughs> uh... It's treating it like I haven't played. Oh, there was a big update. So yeah. Um, so Peglin is a roguelike, but you're playing Peggle. <laughs> but hence the name Peglin. Um, it, it's you're you're hitting pegs. It's not it's not Peggle, but it is Peggle. <laughs> um, let's see. One seven two four. Let's just do this. Uh, and let's also speed up. Um, let's 
maybe I have to go back to the main menu for that, but... No, bomb. I wanted the bomb. Okay, I normally watch this at 1.75 times speed, so this is feeling kind of slow. <laughs> After this battle, I'm going to need to see if I can speed it up more. Did think the name Peglin sounded a bit like Peggle. Yeah. <laughs> It is heavily inspired by Peggle. Extra penalty. You've gotten used to 2x YouTube videos, so 1x sounds slow now. Yep. Yep. Morbid allows orbs to activate the empty pegs. Hmm. Can target any enemy. That sounds kind of interesting. But maybe we just go with the morbid. Ooh, or upgrade an orb? No, this is the first turn. We don't let, let's skip. Don't need any of those. <laughs> um uh, let's look at the map. Yeah. Let's Left to right until we hit double treasure chest. Yeah, we'll kind of zigzag back and forth. So, yeah. Um, let's go this way. Got a little bit of extra gold there. Hmm. -hmm. Refreshes on reload. I think that's pretty good. Whenever Peglin leaves a map node. Okay. Um. From here, the direction doesn't matter. Yeah. So let's. Nope. Okay. That's fine. If you get all five of the bombs, you get an extra uh, relic, which is why I was going for that. Okay. Let's return to main menu. Options. <laughs> 3x speed. There we go. Once you find a uh, clearing with a strange tree directly in the center, there's a nook in the trunk with brambles twisting wildly out of it. Uh, the Bramball is pretty good. I don't know what Shake the Tree does. I think we go for the Bramball. Um, hopefully it will come in handy. Okay. Uh, here, either one works. So I'm not too fussed about it. Yeah. Maybe the right hand one. Okay. It's worth four. Spinfection. Ten times X spinfection. Heal six re reloading. Um, it's a level three Bramble. Um, okay. 
it has overflow. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have 51. I think we do the 60 here. Um, and then we don't care necessarily, but let's go right or try and go right. Because even if we go here, we can still get the double chest. But if we end up going this way, we can't get the double chest. There we go. Amount of crow circling above. Use your satchels to catch the stones. Plus three. I think I'm going to take the damage. I want to get rid of the stones, and I haven't gotten the orbalisk yet. So, yeah. But at least you don't have to lug around any extra stones. Exactly. I think we're good enough here. Uh, let's trash one. Um, five, nine, one, seven. Uh. Oh, Bramble makes it so that they can't move. That's right. Um. Nice. Okay, yeah, the Bramble is really good. <laughs> Must circle. Doctor Orb could be pretty good. I think we get the Doctor Orb. Yeah. So the level one Doctor Orb is like a heal one time, but as you level it up, it, um, can do multiple heals and stuff. Gain one max health. Um. <laughs> I guess we go for Let's use Refresher Course. And then we're going to go down here. Attack plus one plus one. I think we get the Power Glove. Um, and then from here... I think we want to specifically go left. So let's just do that. Apply, attack supply blind four to enemies. So a 4% chance to miss? I mean... And oh my goodness, deal 20 HP. Um, I mean, honestly, it's probably the grubby gloves. Uh, back over this way. Upgrade a random orb to scoop up the forge. Plus special relic, leave. Uh, upgrade it and lose 4 HP. That's pretty good. You're not sure why you thought this would work, but you're glad you tried it. 
Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Oh. Start each battle with one must circle. So this is Spiral Slayer. It's a reference to Slay the Spire, <laughs> which we'll be playing after this. Um, but short fuse or must circle? Uh, we're not going with bomb build, so maybe we go with Spiral Slayer. Um, doesn't matter which way we go, so let's do this. Nope. You found a doctor. Nope. Rip. Overflow is honestly really good. <laughs> I'm glad that the Bramble has it. So what um, Overflow does is any damage not applied to the front enemy gets like put onto the next enemy. Okay. Two mass circle, no special effects. Um. Reorganizer. Hmm. Interesting. I think... I'm not super interested in any of those. I think we just upgrade the Doctor. Kills you for each peg hit. Permanently removed from your deck after it is used. Can only be used once per battle. Yeah. And then heal? No. Okay. Uh, I think we're just trying to get towards the Bram Ball, honestly. How you doing? <laughs> it is me, yes. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, let's go with this. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Dickies. Oh, that sucks. But good soup is good. Uh, Echo Orb. X percent of the previous attack damage as bonus damage. Interesting. Mm. Round about. Crit attack is fired backwards from behind the enemy. Okay. Still not super interested in any of these, but we'll upgrade this one. Fifteen HP for twenty-five. Yeah, we're we're still most of the way there, so. What type of soup? What type of good soup? Um. Let's skip to the Bram Ball. Ow. 
Ow. Owies. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, let's go ahead and use this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's ridiculously good. Got mushroom and onion and celery, then added some beef bouillon and soy sauce and ginger, then tomato paste, potato, and garlic sausage. Sounds good. So whatever I have on hand soup, and it's yummy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, 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 it sounds yummy. Well, that didn't go where I wanted it to. Got the refresh. And there we go. Each time you lose health through self damage, this battle. Okay. Multi ball. Double trouble. Ooh. You know, maybe the reorganizer, but mm. let's, I don't know. Like I, 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 each time you lose health through self damage, this battle, I do take damage from the Bramble. So maybe this is the best thing to take. And then upgrade this again. Plus one, plus two. Okay. Orbs get plus two, plus four, but you can only aim in four directions. Not great. All orbs get plus zero plus four but boards contain one less refresh that's really not good <laughs> um so this means i can't discard whatsoever sure this is probably the best of them not amazing but it's something Um, let's go for this. Come on, okay. Mm -mm. Claire, hi. How you doing, Claire? Pegging? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Real pegging hours. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Cloudy's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll use this and go like that. 
<laughs> uh, Pegger is boggers. <laughs> Cloud you. <laughs> My good friend Cloud you. Shout outs to Simple Flips, uh, Boggers. <laughs> Ball of Lightning. Zaps an additional nearby peg every bounce. Can target any enemy. Critical hit attacks all enemies in targeted column. That seems pretty useful. We'll take it. And then we upgrade it again. Okay, where are we going? Um, oh, it's the wall. Ugh. Um, I think we go right. Yeah, let's go right. You stumble into a kitchen and quickly uh, are quickly accosted by a peglin dressed up as a human chef. Uh, they're crudely attempted. Uh, they've crudely attempted to hide their ears, and the humans seem humans seem to be buying it. Uh, what are you doing in here? You're going to blow my cover. They squawk at you. Please take this relic I found and get out of here. Accept the bribe and sneak away. Wall bounces contribute to damage. If you have an egg, they can bake it into a cake. But you have to get the egg in Act 1, which I did not. <laughs> oh, that's what shaking the tree is for. You're supposed to shake the tree and you get the egg. The Dutch have clog champs. <laughs> uh, blind. Sure. We'll go with the pocket watch. Um, do I care strongly? I'd have to do two extra fights for sure this way. I think we don't risk it. And we go this way. Smog champ. <laughs> you find what looks like Heglin standing motionless on your path. Something about it gives you the creeps, but they seem to be offering the same services as usual. What do you desire? Upgrade an orb or remove an orb? Uh, we'll remove an orb. Let's get rid of a stone. Consider it done. Sorry, consider it done. You're less than thrilled with the price that was paid, but your satchel is lighter in the with the removal of stone level one. Frog champ, glob champ. So true. Oh, the pocket watch actually co combos with the kinetic me meteorite pretty well. Ooh, multi-ball? Do I multi-ball? I might multi-ball. I think I'm multi-ball. Let's do it. Napoleonic era British military corporal punishment flog champ <laughs> Ridiculous <laughs> uh, Four five versus five five I think I just need to get towards the dock door um, And as much as I want a multi-ball again dock door Uh, 
Okay, so. I want to attack this one. Pretty good. Um, can think of another group that would use flog champ. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm really hunching for forward today. I should sit up more straight. The only thing straight about me is should be sitting up straight. <laughs> Line five on hit. Um, nah, not really interested in any of this. Let's just save the money. Um, we'll go to the shop and then whichever way we go from there is fine. We shrimp in today. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> posture is crap. Went to physio for something unrelated to posture and he pointed it out. Yeah. Gargoyle posture, babes. Just. <laughs> yeah. So true. Okay. Um. Every reload. Grants plus two must circle. One additional crit. Hmm. Interesting. Special button or bad cheese. Not exactly sure which one I should go with, but uh, either one I think should be okay. Posture is so bad, it's started to become a permanent thing. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Need to fix it, but that requires energy. Yeah. Um. 20 to all enemies when reloading. How big's my deck? It's pretty big. Uh. I think we just go with special button. Although that's not incredibly helpful either. There's not another shop here. Just wear a silly little corset. <laughs> Let's go with the bad cheese. Um, I want to try and go left to get two treasure chests. No! Oh, the kinetic meteorite is <laughs> fucking me over now! <laughs> uh. Molten gold. We'll go with that. Um. Yeah, let's just do this. Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. If you could pull a corset off. <laughs> um, health is good, so let's go with multi ball. Hey, look, the board's gone. <laughs> um,. I don't need healing. That was three reloads in a row. <laughs> Re sorry, refresh, not reload. Reload is when you go through all the balls here. I 
I wish it was fast forward when not aiming. Um, overflow, but I don't really need that. Yeah, I think we just continue on. Or a cumberbun? Yeah. I love when so many things have been hit that the sound engine is just like, nah, no sounds. <laughs> Who needs sounds? I would pull it off so I could wear the corset instead. <laughs> Who put me in this cummerbund? <laughs> Deal splash damage to enemies immediately to the left and right of the target. Um... I don't think we go with more multi-ball. I think one multi-ball is fine. Mental mantle. Immediately deal one damage to the targeted enemy for every two activated. Gain five ball work. Deal three X the recovered health as damage to the targeted enemy. Um... Let's do the mental mantle. You like me? What a surprise. <laughs> I like you too. <laughs> so surprising. <laughs> Okay, now we can start dealing direct damage to him. Um, let's do this. It was very satisfying, yes. Um, we can Bramble to prevent him from getting closer. there <laughs> and then I should probably refresh oh we weren't lucky and got another refresh unfortunate um I don't need health so we'll just go for that relic it is that gives you additional uh discards like the discards are incredibly helpful to, just to get to the orb you want all in all got an achievement for that um after attacking like i don't know i'm, I'm just not really into any of these orbs I'll go ahead and upgrade the Dagor because that'll probably be the last one I keep around. Um, oh, 
All orbs get plus zero, plus four. One less refresh. Eh. Okay, this is good because I have a thing that's like making it so I take half the amount of self damage. So that this will make it only one or two damage instead of um, three damage. Uh, I don't know if it rounds up or rounds down. So that, that'll be something we'll need to look into. But yeah. Yeah. Wand of Skullsmith power. Let's go. And we're down into the mines. We have the QR code, boss. Uh, I, I love that everybody's just like, oh yeah, that's a QR code. <laughs> um, we don't need the Doctor Orb, so I'm gonna use the stone right now. Nice. Uh, and I think that was two damage at a time. I'm not certain on that, but I think it was. Uh, Dagorb. Can target any enemy. Let's just go ahead and upgrade the Dagorb. And call it good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go this way. And then we'll go here and get this. Any healing? I think they only deal like two damage or something like that. So let's go ahead and um, try and heal up some. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. The music in this game is pretty funky. I like it. <laughs> Swoltorb. Swoltorb would be pretty good, but I'm not really interested in it. I'd like to get rid of these two stones and then call it good. Uh, map. Hmm. Okay, so either way, like to get that chest and then probably here and then down this way. I think we're strong enough that we could handle too many bosses. Um I'll take this one because it'll be something <laughs> uh let's just get the chest well we don't have that all attacks get plus one plus zero let's go right Walking along a section of rail as a rumbling sound grows to a roar from behind you. You turn just in time to see a loaded minecart barreling towards you. Uh, my six max HP. Plus three stones in random navigation? Hell no. No, no, no. Will not be doing. Um... I have healing. Let's brace ourselves for impact. You brace yourself as best as you can as the minecart rams you against the stone wall and continues on its way. You think you'll avoid the cart tracks from now on. Oh my goodness. Um, 
I would really like to go left. No! Oh. Oh, that's... Oh. That's painful. That's really painful. Let's go ahead and heal up. Well, that wasn't healing, but, you know, it, it works fine. Now we'll heal up. Why is spinesse a caution symbol? Oh, it's the, the exclamation point thing. Uh, I'm good on health now, so... Oh, all the self-damage from this is causing this to get stronger. Destruction. <laughs> um, a little bit more. Well, not the little bit more that I meant, but, you know, it's fine. Heal six when fired can only be used once per battle. Mm, not that great, honestly. Heal 23 HP. Sure, we'll do that. Your soup is pizza. <laughs> pizza soup. Plus one orb discards. Hell yes. Healing two is great, but more like discards. Yes, we will definitely take that. And then do I care strongly which way we go here? I think we want to go left to... Hopefully get this track. Pizza soup. Um, we'll do this. And the unicorn horn is the reference to uh, Peggle. Because there's like the whole unicorn thing with Peggle. Um, you find a globe of radia standing directly in your path. If you listen carefully, you can hear it humming with an earthly energy, and you sense you can make use of its power. Upgrade all stones, or insert an orb into the globe. Well, I think, since it's only two stones, um, I think I want to insert a stone. And the humming comes to a stop. Also, you dress the second bowl with heavy cream and some shredded cheese, and it's a lot nicer. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cheese is good in most soups. I, I, I can't say all, but in, in a lot of soups, it can be improved by having cheese. <laughs> um, the cheese is just so good. It, just ridiculously good. Um, every time the board is refreshed. Well, since I have extra discards... Uh, oh, wait, no, this is the board refresh. So, yeah... Yeah, let's go with this. This will help keep my health up. Oh, this is one of the new uh, mini bosses. Or just enemies? Weird. Um, Intangible X prevents its holder from losing more than X HP from any individual attack or effect. Huh. <laughs> Um, let's do this. So, the mental mantle, uh, basically made that battle, like, no issue. Water soup. <laughs> uh, Papa... Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, Parmigiano, uh, just makes everything better. Yeah. Exacerbate, uh, increases... Hit enemies debuffs by one. Can target any enemy. No. I think I'm good. 
Um, don't need to heal right now. Yeah, let's just continue. Um, let's go with the lightning orb. Nice. Okay. So there's a bunch of other hidden enemies here. We just can't see them. Uh, let's definitely do this. Anytime now, game. I just healed for like a thousand. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I took the thing. Didn't I? Weird. I could have sworn I took a thing that made it so I took less damage from self damage. Ah, oh, well. Full of refreshes, please and thank you. <laughs> uh, let's get overflow. Anything to write home about. Um, we should go ahead and heal. And then do we upgrade an orb? I mean, we're about to go fight the boss. So let's... We might as well upgrade it. Double upgrade it, in fact. Um, two times as many bombs. Two additional refreshes. Let's go with the peg bag. Just because we have a lot of stuff based around refreshes. Check behind the waterfall. Let's check behind the waterfall. Intentional oboe. Whenever you would lose health, reduce the amount lost by one. Very good. Because that combines with this well. Um, and it also combines with my uh, bramble and like lots of good stuff. Um, 14, 10, let's just double trash and go for that. Oh my goodness, that sound effect's way too loud. <laughs> um, we need to heal. Okay. And then let's go with the bully. Yeah, I, I had a pretty good setup here. Not perfect, but it was pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, won't get ruined again. Crucible, level one, unlocked. You've unlocked, un unlocked these in custom modes. Hey, nice. Okay. Yeah. So that run took about one hour. So we'll probably have time for one more run here.
gruesome ball start each run with plus one stone stones have minus zero minus one oof uh <laughs> yeah okay let's go game start uh more gold seven percent chance to be a treasure node Mm, let's just go with this again. I think that treated us pretty well. Hand? I need to see what it thinks is the hand. Oh, it's my mic. My mic, it, from, from, I, like, the, the, the foam piece is, like, very black in real life but ir is picking up on the little pockets and it's like oh that is a hand i need to track the hand there <laughs> very weird so whenever my hand gets caught kind of like this um that's my mic um being picked up <laughs> I'm still figuring out certain stuff with, um, uh, like general tracking, you know? I should have probably gone directly for that, but whatever. Nope. Rip. Um, for every one ball work you have, consumes all of your ball work when fired. Um, what if we did a bomb build? Let's do a bomb build. Um, I think we go all the way right so that we can kind of hit this and then across here or something. Yeah. So we will try and go to the right. Ow. There we go. Uh, deal 2x damage when your health is below 25%. I would rather not be there, so let's go with Weaponized Envy instead. Um, we want to go right. You encountered a weathered old peglin, flipping a poker chip through their nimble fing fingers. Do you consider yourself a gambler? No. <laughs> no! Uh. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> randomness fucks me again. Um, board will contain one additional crit. Cat mm. mm. says hi. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Um, let's get health. And then, I don't care too much which direction I go. Close. Uh, oh geez, you 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 feel yourself pulled towards it, and you, uh, as you near it, you realize you are holding out potential offerings. One orb in each hand. You offer stone or stone, stone or stone. <laughs> like, hmm. I, gosh, I, I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> but it sinks right into the solid slab of stone. You feel your other hand grow warm and realize your stone is now level two. Okay. Well, that's something. Do 
deal full damage to enemies with resistances. Sure. That sounds good. Um. Also, I don't care too much which way I go. I guess I'm going to the shop. <laughs> Okay, nothing I'm interested in anyways. Um, I would like to head left if possible. Nice. Uh, let's do this. And I'd really like to do the elite battle. Ooh, this is a new one. Is it just me or does this look kind of like a monkey? Like eye, eye, mouth kind of, uh, and then like the big ears? Like that might be a stretch, but... Um, now let's go with this and then bounce it. Nope. Okay. That did not go as I wanted. Please, I need the refresh. Yes. Okay. Whew. Let's not risk it. Yeah, I was worried it would go about like that. Oh my goodness, stop bouncing to the outside edge, please. I mean, that's some amount of damage at least. Uh, you know what? No, we're gonna use a bomb. <sighs> okay, I definitely need to heal after this fight. Okay. Heal. <laughs> uh, extra bouncy. Um... Finesse? Nah, let's just upgrade this. Uh, Non-minion enemy gain plus one max health. Also refresh the board. That's good. Um... I think we go right and try and da dash around. Like, we might be able to survive, but I'm not super hopeful. <laughs> um, plus one orb discard. So that's really good. I think we risk it. Oh, close. Okay. That's about the best we could have asked for, though. Stumble onto a strange mirror with shadows flickering in the reflection. Uh, you're drawn closer and closer until your nose is nearly touching the glass. The shadows are speaking a language you've never heard before, but you understand their offer. Remove an orb or remove all orbs. <sighs> I'm not super attached to my orbs. I think we go for the Orberus. The shadow in the mirror offers... Uh, offered to ease your burden and you accept. You feel a slight sense of dread as your satchel empties and the world fades to black around you. You awaken sometime later with a mysterious new uh, Orberus uh, level one as the sole content of your satchel. 
Okay. And I want to try and go to the right. Well. Okay. Whew. Okay. Persist 3. Echo 50. Deal 4 damage to self when discarded. Okay. Oh my goodness, please. I, I'm, I'm gonna die just because I'm uh, not hitting anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not attached to my orbs. <laughs> I'm in sort of a take it or leave it situation. It's like, eh. Whatever for me. <laughs> okay. Infection, attack all enemies. That's pretty good because unlike poison in other games, Spinfection doesn't tick down. So that's just 10 damage times however many enemies consistently, right? Four and seven. This seems really good. I, I think we're just going to upgrade the Orberus, though. Oh, I should have healed. Well, let's hope. <laughs> Oh, it has persist five. Uh, nope. Okay, that's not actually that bad. to hit that uh, rip I might die here I think we still have enough time that we could go for one more run or we definitely have enough time we could go for one more run it just might cause other things to run later and here's the microphone again it's the microphone eh. Eh. okay <laughs> it's weird like seeing the ir camera and like how it's yeah Ooh. Okay. The microphone is the best hand, indeed. Um, <laughs> oh, do we do, do bomb build or do we do stones? I think we go with stones. Uh, 
Um, crit's kind of rough, so... and get all the money we can. I'm going to start upgrading orbs. Uh, which direction? Oh my goodness. This one has a lot of stuff going on. Um, I want to go to event spaces because that's where... Uh, what's it called? The... The, the thing that... Uh, the Orbalisk. That's where the Orbalisk is at. Have we met before? I'm afraid I haven't quite set up shop here yet, but in the meantime, I can offer you a free sample. Upgrade an orb, remove an orb. Um, let's... Upgrade or remove? Um, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Tosses it into their own satchel and then pulls out a new stone level three. You're not entirely convinced they didn't just replace your orb, but either way, you're impressed. <laughs> um. I don't feel strongly one way or the other. Okay. I had a slight preference to the chest, but, um, come on. I had a slight preference to the chest, but it's not a huge deal either way. Okay, that's one thing I need to really figure out is how to get my microphone to stop being a hand. I'm really trying to get every bit of money I can. Protect orb. Um, there's another character that's based around ball work. Um, you need to get like a certain amount of ball work in order to unlock them. So maybe we grab that. Um, any way I strongly feel. Um, I think to the right and then I can kind of go down this way. In the future, I think I want to do more streams 
in this sort of format where it's just hey let's play a bunch of different things because there's there's so many games that i really enjoy and i just don't have the time to play them all usually you know go for the ice circle first peg hmm pierce is better than overflow maybe we get it Maybe we don't. Pierce is really important for like one of the bosses in the second world. So let's get it. Um, I want to go right. Yeah. Ah, uh, for some reason, my eyes started bothering me. It's a little bit annoying. Mm -hmm. Um, mentioned it before but uh in the stream today but uh i am running a little giveaway as a thank you for uh all the support prior to doing vtubing and then also uh just thank you for uh moving forward and, and stuff so uh i have a gleam link in the description that uh is running for like the next week and it is for uh i'll be pulling two winners for uh 50 steam gift cards so yeah Uh, Spinfection, Ice Circle, Digorb. Um, do I feel strongly about any of these? Not really. Okay. What What's the difference between the Ice Circle and the Go for the Ice Circle? This one applies blind. This one does not. I don't know. It just seems a little bit weird. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to go here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't get anything, so we move on. Gonna try and go this way. Please, thank you. Repostal service. After you are attacked, the attacker receives damage equal to your remaining ball work. If your first reload. Uh, let's go for that one. Nice. Uh, and then left. I really want to go left. No. Yes. Whew. Um. 
Grubby gloves is fine. Um, and then we want to go left. Please, 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 Orbalisk. <sighs> Offer the stone or the stone? Uh, and then we go right. You reach a clearing that is usually slimy. Uh, unusually slimy. Uh, you progress cautiously but still lose your step. Three orbs fall into the slime and you only have two hands. Which one do you let sink into the slimy abyss? Let the dag orb sink, let the protect orb sink, let the stone sink. We're gonna let the dag orb sink. Ooh. That one was pretty easy to navigate. Um, level three stone. Okay. Okay, yeah. We win. <laughs> um, bold orb. Yeah. We're going for Pierce. There we go. Okay. I wanted to get down to the right. Ah. Unfortunate. Um. No, it didn't hit the refresh. I really needed it to. Um. Let's trash. Orb Pierce's first peg. Okay. How did, how did it fly that way? I don't understand it sometimes. Uh, sure, let's do this. Thank you. Ooh. Um, heal? Probably a good idea. And then let's do this. Love the arches. Like uh the 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 ring there. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. <laughs> yes, the ring things. Yeah. A very satisfying. A little bit hard to use sometimes. Um, let's do something like that. Nope. That did not go how I was hoping. Nope. Um, we'll target that and then do that. Ah, no. Yep. 
Yeah, we desperately needed that reload. Just get a bit of let ah, wow words. Let's just get a little bit of ball work. Protect ourselves some. Okay. And we'll get some more ball work. Okay. Renewed Vigorb. While the orb is in flight. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Toil and trouble. I love that name. <laughs> upgrade orb. I think we just upgrade this. Apply six blind. Yeah, I think we just upgrade that. Electropegnant. Uh, adds two random orbs, randomly upgrades four orbs. Uh, I think we go electropegnant. Uh, let's trash. Oh yeah, they have spinfection. Okay, so th since that ball doesn't deal any damage, it doesn't deal spinfection. Which is interesting to know. Oh, it does tick down. I thought it didn't tick down. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Wow. Good job. <laughs> uh. Ether wheel refreshes the board when this orb leaves the pegboard. Um, let's just upgrade this. I'm like so uncertain of like exactly what to do. Uh, let's go. Let me look this up. Or orbalisk. Orbalisk. Um, a uh, peglin. Orbalisk. Um. So the orbalisk event. It doesn't say that the Orbalisk event is limited to a specific area. So. Yeah. I might go right. Yeah. Let's go right. Uh, gives you the usual creeps. Uh. If something gives you the creeps, but they seem to be offering the same services as usual. Upgrade or remove an orb. Um, let's upgrade the bold orb. Mm -hmm. 
trio of mysterious spirits pop out and surprise you on their journey. Uh, on your journey. I think this little one could use our help, one of the spirits shouts gleefully. Um, remove Ice Circle, upgrade Bold Orb, or duplicate Go for the Ice Circle. Um, let's upgrade the Bold Orb. One of the spirits glows with a mysterious light before they all disappear, leaving you slightly stronger with your upgraded Bold Orb level 3. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna go left. There we go. Mm -hmm. Rip. <laughs> Oh, yep. Destroyed. <laughs> uh, buckle orb. For every eight pegs hit? I mean, we should give it a go, right? Wait. This seems way worse than this other orb I have, right? Oh, but this one deals damage. Okay, that that's its trade-off. That's its trade-off. Um I think that's a fine trade-off. <laughs> I love how strong <laughs> that that setup is. Um, twenty five for another stone. Since I don't have the orbalisk, it's not worth getting another stone. I'm kind of tempted to get it, but it's not worth it. Mm, yeah. Um, ba, ba, ba. let's try and cross over to the left. pretty strong right now feeling pretty good uh every time six pegs are hit up to 10 times uh i mean that's up to 20 healing let's grab it let's keep some money around in case for the um other orb Mm hmm Uh, cheese. I think health. Um, now I want to go to the left. Mm -hmm. No, still not the orbs I want. The mini wall. Also, which? Okay. Not the wall. The other one. Uh, 
Uh, don't really need to go to, for refreshes right now. It has a little grabby hand. Go grab, 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 grab. <laughs> Nice. Uh, the bold orb's just better. Nice. Okay. Got the refresh as I was hoping for. Okay. Three, six, five, nine. Um, yeah, I just need to do damage at this point. Ow. <laughs> it bonked my head. <laughs> Okay, uh, morbid. Upgrade an orb. Refresh the board when this orb is discarded. That's a pretty good upgrade. Do we upgrade again? Refresh the board on the first hit. Refresh the board every time six pegs are hit up to ten times. Refresh the board when this orb is discarded. I think that's worth. Wall chicken. Uh, each crit activates for projectile attacks. Um, cause them to pierce additional enemies. Every reload... Grants plus one balance. Refresh is different than reload. I have a decent number of orbs, so reload isn't too good. Um, let's just get wall chicken. And wall chicken is a reference to Castlevania, uh, in which the healing item, you would break open the wall and there would be chicken inside. And so it's wall chicken. <laughs> I have the turtle. Orb and relic battle rewards contain an additional option to choose from. That's pretty good. What's the other one? Contribute to damage? No, we, definitely I have the turtle. Ow. Very glad I got that refresh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's the gold counter. Okay. <laughs> um I 
I'm really glad I got Pierce and Overflow and stuff. Give up on code? Can't focus enough? Hey, Mike, stop. Mike. Don't stop. <laughs> okay. But give up on code? Can't focus enough? Unfortunate. What were you working on for coding projects? If you're open to talk about it, of course. Crystal my cans, yes. <laughs> um Yeah, let's just refresh. Uh was working on some stuff for Blue Sky user counter. Interesting, yeah. Uh, but since you've woken up, you haven't been able to do a line of code, then get... You've been able to do a line of code, then get distracted for 45 minutes. I feel that. <laughs> oh, the spinning goes at the same rate. Interesting. Uh, so probably that there. The refresh orb's kind of interesting. Spinner go, spinner go burr. Mike, <laughs> I look over and it's just like again. Oh, the <laughs> here I might um I might need to reposition my mic to make it more. Actually, what if I do... Nope, that would block my face. Um, hmm. How does this sound? Is Does this sound okay? Like, does... It's further away from my face, so technically being a dynamic microphone, it might sound, like, a little bit quieter, but, like... Sound quality wise, does it still sound okay ish? Basically, it was about here before, and now it's about here. Tiny bit quieter, okay. Yeah, and I could probably go into my mic chain uh, settings and make it a bit louder, but. Yeah, basically, as I was hunching over, like, the top of the mic was, like, going off the edge of the, um, uh, what's it called? The, the, the leap motion. It, it was, it was going above, like, it just extending a little bit off the edge. And it thought my hand was kind of, like, reaching down from the top. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Every shot has plus one multiball, but attacks get minus two, minus two. I think? This is the only one, like... This is the only one that that would really harm. But I could just trash that one then. I think this is worth getting. Mm -hmm. So I wasted like 25 gold um, refreshing that. Not refreshing, uh, upgrading that orb.
Nice. Electrorb magnet. Hmm. Swoltorb might be interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, can't get anything. Um... Tactical treat. Um, I guess we'll go for the pocket sand. Um, at this point, it's like minimizing encounters. This guy, okay. Um, let's go right. Um, well, we've almost upgraded all orbs, so let's remove this level one stone. Um, gonna try and go to the left. There we go. No, 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 no. Uh. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Ah. Uh. I mean, we might as well. I'm just upset because that's not the one I wanted. <sighs> From seemingly nowhere, an inferno ignites in a circle around you. Uh, no, I don't want the fireballs. You are a little singed, but otherwise unscathed. Yeah, and I want to go left. Um, there's not really a reason to do that anymore. Eh, you know what? We'll go for it. Um, I really want to go left. Uh, an extra thing would be nice, but... Um... You know what? We will attempt to dodge. Uh, because... We're, like, doing pretty well... Um, what's it called? We're doing pretty well on health. We got the wall chicken, so we'll attempt to dodge. You manage to spring out of the way, but you twist your ankle on the landing. It's not ideal, but you carry on. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Uh, off a ring. Attack distance is dependent on number of pegs hit. Higher orb levels require more pegs hit to travel further per enemy hit. Attack pierces all enemies. That's quite the orb. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I, whichever one I get, uh, I'm gonna skip it. Okay. Let's trash. Okay, and then... Nice. So we're almost done with this run. And then win or lose, uh, I'm going to take another quick break and then we will uh, be moving over to Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire is another game that like, I just absolutely adore. I, uh, I have put many hours into that game. Love Slay the Spire? Yeah. I'm still, like, I've been taking a little bit of a break of it, mostly because I've been playing Wild Frost, but, um, I, I still want to get, like, as many achievements as possible. Like, maybe, maybe that's not all achievements, but I, I, I want to try, you know? Um, that's trash. There we go. Nice little refresh. gonna trash this one because there's only one enemy on the ground yeah I'm not really taking self damage um we're about to fight the boss um I think we continue for now and then after the next fight is when we heal because we're only down six, right? Mike. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, there's this big old black hole there in the middle. hurt nice anything to spend money on affects all enemies that actually seems pretty decent yeah let's do it Oh, that was a uh, level three. Also, that noise was really grating. Yeah, that's a level three. Okay. Mm. So I present 
Minesweeper. <laughs> are kind of random and all over the place which isn't the greatest IMO <laughs> yeah kind of funny minesweeper thinks brain who can't type Mine swerper. <laughs> Thanks, brain. Yep, I and I read that right, you know. <laughs> uh <laughs> uh, let's just trash this to do this. This board's pretty rough, honestly. Um, I'm gonna just take the damage. And trash this to do this. Rip. Ah, unfortunate. I tried my best. <laughs> I think we had a good run. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that was Peglin. Um. I might play more of this in the future. Who knows? Um. Maybe like. Maybe just periodically when I have like the spoons for it and I, I uh, feel like it, uh, maybe we do bonus days where we do more of these uh, runs like this. I, I don't know exactly what to call it, but more more of these sessions, <laughs> like lots, lots of different games. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a quick break. Um, gonna go uh, get like quick snack or something and then we will be right back with some more uh, gameplay we'll be switching over to slay the spire uh, that will be going for about two ish hours and then um, uh, so so that's running five to seven ish uh, and then at around seven ish uh, basically after two hours of slay the spire we will go to uh, super auto pets and if there's enough people who are interested, I will do viewer lobbies for that. Um, if there's not enough people, which I'd say would be like roughly, I don't know, three, four people, something like that. Um, it, if it's if it's just like one or two people, I'll probably just um, uh, play standalone stuff by myself, you know? Maybe the weekly pack, which I, I uploaded a video for uh, yesterday. So yeah, uh, anyways, gonna go take the break. I'll be right back.
Hello, I am back. Gonna quickly edit some description things. So 415. Four fifteen. Slay the spire. Okay. Um, actually, I want to just copy this text. Switching on over from Heglin over to Slay the Spire. Still another four hours to go. And there we go. Okay. Okay. And back. So we'll quit game and then slay the spire launch uh we're gonna play without mods uh i i wanted to play with mods on my steam deck but like there's some sort of bug on the steam deck like with the menu like the mod menu it just doesn't launch uh game settings uh, we're wanting 2560 by 1440 uh, and borderless full screen. Play. <clears throat> it's 1440p for me. It's just under 1080p for you. Like the full stream's 1080p, but I think. This is, I think this over here is, um, what's it called? It's like 900p or something like that. I should check the actual size. Um, I did not mean to click continue, but also I'm just going to start over because I don't know what I was doing in this run. Um, settings. Yeah. Okay. Abandon run. Okay, so, um, I should check achievements. That, that would probably give me an indication. Um, da, 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 da. I love the ooh donut achievement. Finish donu with feed. <laughs> um, <laughs> Amethyst plus, Ruby plus. Okay, so I need Emerald plus and I need Sapphire plus. Okay. So let's go for Emerald plus. Been a long time since you played? Valid, yeah. It's been a couple months, I'd say. I don't remember the exact last time I played. Um, let's see. What card to remove from the deck? Mm. I'll probably remove... Let's remove a defend. Yeah. And then, yeah, we can go ahead and shop. Let's see. I could double attack. Yeah, and that's about the same as doing a defend.
Uh, for anybody who's just joining in, um, uh, as part of my VTuber debut, I'm uh, hosting a giveaway for um, two $50 Steam gift cards. Uh, it's just as a thank you for everyone supporting me uh, prior to VTubing and uh, excited for the future, basically. So there's a Gleam link down in the description below, and um, I'll be picking two winners uh, next week, Saturday. So yeah. Um, let's neutralize, let's attack, and then we can attack and defend. <clears throat> Blessing of the Forge. Hard. Um, <sighs> discard build or poison build? Um, let's go for a discard build. It's been a while since I've done a discard build. Like, I normally lean into the poison builds. Let's see, 330. Um, I'll go ahead and do this and then that. Ooh. Oh, I should have attacked this one three times. Mm -hmm. Um, music should be adjusted. I think I normally play this. I think I normally play this when I'm like playing uh, Pathfinder <laughs> with friends, so that that's why it was so quiet. Um, return. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Neutralize. Let's discard this and then that. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. The longer I wear the the leap motion uh, on my shirt, the more I'm becoming like aware of it, and it's like starting to uh, not bother me, but <laughs> I don't know how to describe it exactly. It, it's it's I'm aware of it basically. <laughs> Um, okay. If you have discarded a card this turn, gain two energy. Uh, gain two potion slots. Um, if this card is discarded from your hand, draw two cards. Honestly, this is pretty good with the discard build. Um, yeah, and I'll leave it at that. Oh. <laughs> Let's make sure to do that one. Let's discard this. And then... Take care of that one. Mm -hmm. 
Eh. If you just barely move the card up and then move it back down, it's like it sticks to your hand. <laughs> Honestly, honestly, we skip. In Slay the Spire, you don't always want to take a card. Usually you want to take a card, but not always. Uh, like balancing the deck size with the like setup of the cards, that, that's more important. So I'm going to do this and then end turn, so I'll have four energy for the next turn. Uh, nothing was discarded this turn, so it will be this and that. Uh, let's discard this and then we do this and then that and that power cards um let's do noxious fumes music in this game is so good okay I just have to deal three damage nice <laughs> um gain to intangible I like this card seems interesting but like at the end of your turn lose one dexterity was about to say the music is good. Yeah. You once ported this game to Android. Cool. That's a very fun fact. Okay. So here and then. Oh, wow. This is like almost a straight shot up. I think we go for a second campfire instead of a question mark room, even though the question mark room counts towards the tiny chest. Oh, this game's in Java? Yeah, okay, that that makes it not so bad to port over. Heal 17 or remove a card. Um, as much as I want to remove a card, I think I need to heal. Mm. When you spend gold at a shop, am I going to be running past a shop soon? No, I will not be. So I will take the Maw Bank for now. Uh, rest up to 62. They use GIF W, so hacked it at, um, hacked on it for an afternoon. The devs asked you not to release it. Valid, but... <laughs> Isn't there a mobile version of... Hold on. Uh, slay the Spire for mobile... I, I, I could swear. Yeah, yeah, there, um, there's a Slay the Spire for Android. Right here. <laughs> so they, they might have asked you not to release it because they were working on it themselves. <laughs> hmm. 
none of that was out back then yeah uh, so i've thought about getting slay the spire for mobile i would love to have slay the spire on mobile but achievements don't transfer over which kind of sucks like if achievements transferred over i would definitely get it on mobile but i'm not going like and like progress doesn't sync either so like I, I, I don't want to spend time playing on mobile when the achievements don't transfer over to Steam. Um, I have the Steam Deck now, so, you know, not so much of an issue. Um, let's see. We'll discard this, and then we'll do that. <laughs> 12 yeah <laughs> um let's start with backflip and let's do this and that <laughs> Ah! <laughs> um Noxious Fumes is just really good. Like even though it doesn't play into the discard stuff, I think it might be worth grabbing. Just for that consistent damage. Um and I'm going to go up this way. Uh, remove a card from your deck. Gold at a shop. Okay. Um, remove a card from your deck. Lose 7 HP. I'll remove a strike. Yeah. Okay. Um We'll play this. We'll neutralize. Um Probably should have started with backflip, but whatever. Um, I think I want to defend mostly. 13. Hmm. Yeah, I, I need to do a little bit offensive stuff. Plus that gets like an extra point for next time. Uh, an extra energy point. I might stand for a little bit. Let's see how my VTubing stuff handles standing <laughs> mm, okay before it splits gotta try and do as much damage under the split amount yep exactly exactly oh hey look it's uh it was catching the mic as my hand again ah <laughs> <sighs> Like, I, I don't know what I can do for the mic to have it not do that, you know? Um. Do that, and then just eviscerate this one. It'll die. Yeah. Oh, geez. Um, this cable. Hmm. 
might need to get an extra thing there. Okay. So I have a big USB extension cable that um, the actual leap motion plugs into and that's a heavy cable. <laughs> Like a very, very reinforced cable. Okay. We'll discard this. And then, yeah. This and this. Please, some. Uh, give me something to discard. Please, game. Please. Uh. Let's do leg sweep, I guess. You may raise your max HP by two instead. That's pretty good. Um, and then I I need to rest. Pretty goopy. Let's do this so that I can see two more cards. Yeah, the big attack. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm going to try and defend a little bit. Because I don't have anything to defend with. Oh shit, I... I was just like, oh yeah, I can do three things. And that's it. Nothing more. Do this. Well, why only defends? This one lowers defense and this one lowers attack. So let's backflip. I guess I only get to defend. There are no other options here. Defend and your, your choices are defend or defend. You want some defense? We got some defense. Defend. The <laughs> game, please. You can do anything you like as long as it's defending. Similar to how like the Model T was marketed. It was like, you can have the Model T in any color you want, so long as it's black. <laughs> it's like, great, thanks. Um. I'm dead, right? Yeah, I'm dead. Rip. Welcome to the Slay the Spire experience. You lose. <laughs> I could have maybe save scummed, but like... I don't know. <laughs> Not a huge fan of that. Uh, let's see. Lose all gold, transform two cards, random comic, co comic? Common relic? 50% of the runs, yeah. 
Especially when you're out of practice. Yep. Upgrade a card. I think my, like, this is the sign that it's a really good game. My biggest critique with the game is that one of the builds for the silent is completely nullified by one of the bosses. Just like completely and utterly nullified. Hand tracking working again? Okay. For some reason, the, the leap motion turned off. <laughs> Um, upgrade a card? Yeah, we'll upgrade a card. Basically, the build based around, uh, sorry, um, the silent and the, the watcher? The blue one. Uh, the blue one and the green one, they have, um, their builds based around zero cards, like zero cost cards, completely nullified by one of the bosses. Like, if you get to Act 3 and you have that build, you're fucked. There, there is no saving it at that point, <laughs> which is it, it's it's kind of disappointing. Those are like some really fun builds, and it's just like one out of three chance that the really fun build just doesn't work. Great. No, no, not the boss that randomizes costs. The boss that makes it so um. Uh, like I, I'm talking about the end of chapter boss, not not the uh, mini boss, um, the Sneko is whatever like sure fine like it, it's it's any sort of build kind of feels the same with the sneko um what really stinks is the boss that it's for every 12 cards you play your turn ends and then um for every 12 cards you play the turn ends and their strength increases it's like, well, okay, so, so the build that's based around playing as many cards as you possibly can, just completely nullified by that boss. It's like, great, thanks. <laughs> so th that's my, like, I think the boss is fine with any other build, but if you have that build, you're fucked. It's like a time limit, yeah. Um... Yeah, let's go up this path. Because it gets stronger and kills you eventually. Yeah, and, and like, the 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 cards that cost zero, it's typically about whittling away health. It's not about doing, like, big amounts of damage. Um... So I think having my, um, while I'm standing up like this, I think things are a little bit more echo echoey, but, you know, it's not that bad. And also I think the, the hand tracking is working about the same as before. Swap between, yeah, <laughs> so true. Um, this and this. Bum, 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 bum. You can't charge and be used at the same time. That's weird. Like that, that sounds like they're just using a bad, um, like charging IC or something. Or like a not optimal charging IC. Ten block, ten damage. Bum, bum, bum. 
Boom. Transform a card. I don't know. I don't really trust the transform a card. I don't understand how transform a card works. Transform a card. Uh, slay the spire. Like. Every eligible card has the same chance to be ch picked. A card is just as likely to become a demon form as it is a flex. A curse will only transform into another curse. A card cannot transform into the same card. Cannot transform a card into a basic card. Which a basic card, I guess, is like a strike or a defend. Oh. Neutralize survivor. So it's it's your starting hand, basically. A, a basic card is your your starting hand. Uh, a colored card will only turn into another card of the same color. That means under normal circumstances, the player would only receive a card of their current character. You'd think, yeah. And it's the same deal? Yeah. I wonder if they chose not to due to it, like, causing noise or interference or something, you know? Or that, that at least that's their reasoning behind it. A lot of these runs are pretty fast and loose to play through. Deal s uh, 7 damage X times. Deal 6 damage. Let's go for the draw discard again. Yeah. <laughs> Best headphones you own. Great for trains and planes as noise canceling, but can be annoying. Yeah. Crow dude got destroyed. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll do two of these and just get this one whittled down. Fine, I think I'm gonna defend and attack. I was thinking of doing like a YouTube like recorded video series based around um, Slay the Spire because it would be like, okay, record a run and upload it. But I don't know if I would want to do that from like, you mostly want to upload like uh, runs that you win, you know? <laughs> Oh, hey, this version of Slay the Spire is from my birthday. <laughs> Funny and weird. And destroyed. Um, I think we go with terror. Yeah, let's go with terror. Hmm, yeah, we can do this. Cool. 
Different month. Yee. <laughs> Uh... Okay, this boss is gonna suck. I need, just need to throw all the damage at it. Don't use any skills. Oh, but that might be worthwhile. Let's do Tools of the Trade. And Terror. Yeah, this dude sucks. Um, let's get rid of that card. Then attack, attack, attack. Especially since this one has regenerate. It's just like, oh, here's a little bit extra annoyance. And he's dead, okay. Anchor, hell yeah. Um, I think we go with slice. Frozen eye is really good. I might go with frozen eye. Oh, but infinite. Mm. 148, that leaves me with 20 or less than 20. I think I go with Infinite Blades over Frozen Eye. Yeah. Dead, but at the cost of a lot of health. Yeah, a lot of health. Um. Ghost in a jar. That could be helpful. Like a get out of jail free card. I might just remove a defend though. Or actually I might remove a, a strike. Let's remove a strike. Um, let's heal. And then... War paint, upgrade two random skills. Sure. Of course their defends. Like anything else would have been great, but nope, just, just some defense. Okay. Fine. Fine. Ooh, big chest. Bottled flame. Choose a specific attack. Um. You know, I want to say neutralize, but ironically, I think neutralize is not the play here. Maybe it is? Let's go ahead and start with it. Why not? Um, shoot. One guaranteed fight. Oh my goodness. Ugh. That was a lot of health. For every th every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. At least that's a decent ability. Um... Random skill. I, I hate the random skill stuff.
Okay. I think this is the guaranteed fight. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do... This. This. Block eight. And we'll do this. More dexterity, nice. Hi, yeah. Um. Ooh, terror is good. Um. You know, I'll discard a strike. Mm. Maybe I discard Survivor because I have Defend over here. Fuck the Thief, yeah. Uh, this one might be... Yeah, this one's the Looter. So there, there's two slightly different characters that behave slightly differently. There's the Thief and the Looter. This is the Looter. Um, I, I think the Looter will typically flee one turn later than the Thief. Um, and also has slightly weaker attacks. Um, so it's about the same amount of damage, but just like the order that things happen in. They both need to die. <laughs> so true, so true. Um, this one goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Uh, and sure, let's do this. Nah, that can hold off. Hey, yeah. Okay, they're about to run. Let's see, where's my smoke bomb? <laughs> the sound effects for the voices are great. Ghost in a jar, that'll be, uh, come in handy. That'll come, that, that'll be super useful. Um, I don't think we go to the shop. I think we risk a fight. I really didn't want it to be a fight, but I, I was hoping for something better. <laughs> oh. Um. This one charges up. This one will weaken us. I think we take out the back one. Uh, I should have used terror on it first. <laughs> Shit. And, and I did. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well, we're taking out the front one now. <laughs> Oh. What boss are we facing off? Oh my goodness. Okay, this will be a rough boss. That's nine. I want to block all of it. Another infinite blades. Rest. I cannot take a singular hit from a uh, slime boss. Um, do I apply terror now? I think I apply terror now.
Slime Crush. Okay, let's calculate this out. So it needs to get down to 70. This will do that. Cool. Okay. So let's do this. And that's a flying knee. Exactly. Yeah. I tried, I tried to get it as low as I could. Um, I think I focused this one. I should have done all the attacks first, unfortunate, for the little bit extra dexterity. One. Two, three, <laughs> debut, yes, I can do that. <laughs> Um, I think I block this damage. Um, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty one. I can take out this one. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, let's put this here. Put that there. Like, damage reduction. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. Been having a good time. Uh, been trying to pace myself with, uh, like, taking little breaks in between each game. But uh, it's been super fun today. Yeah. Been really, really good. We'll probably go over... <laughs> uh eight hours but uh just because of break times and stuff like that but it, it's been good yes um my microphone likes to pick up as a hand it's been really annoying <laughs> like oh geez um maybe i do a scuffed little screen capture to to show Okay, so um, let's add a, what's it called? Not display capture, sure, game capture. Um, Ultra Leap, okay, uh, and capture specific window, which is this. Okay, so this right here is my microphone. The The microphone is perfectly black in, in real life, but for some reason, the IR camera is like seeing it like this. <laughs> and so when like I lean down or something like that, it's like seeing it as a hand, which is like really weird. <laughs> Yes, remove Ultra Leap. Okay. <laughs> Mic hands. Yeah, exactly. Might? Maybe? But, like, yeah, I guess the base of the mic isn't too hot, so, I don't know, maybe. It's a bit weird. <laughs> um. 
let's draw and discard. We can discard that. We'll do this, and we'll do this. And let's get the slime exhausted. Doesn't have to be super hot to put off a little bit of heat. True, yeah. <laughs> super hot. Let me tell you, super hot VR is like really physically demanding. Like I, I, I really enjoyed my time with it. I need to play more of it, but like <laughs> I, I was not ready for how intense uh, the super hot VR was. <laughs> It is exhausting, yeah. Like, just like, you're, you're like, scooching down against the floor, like, bending over backwards weird. Here, here th this is the microphone. Let me see, um, let me re-add the Ultra Leap. Um... Look at that. Look at the microphone there. It's a hand, apparently. <laughs> this is what the Ultra Leap is seen. <laughs> it's just like, oh, yep, that's a closed fist. Definitely is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. And it, it just keeps picking up the microphone. <laughs> And now that you have long COVID and chronic fatigue, yeah, that sucks. That that, that would make it tougher for, um, uh, that, that would make it tougher to play the super hat VR stuff as well. Gotta hand it to your mic, yeah, yeah. Give that mic a hand. <laughs> Give that hand a mic. <laughs> oh. Next turn, your attacks deal double damage. Enemy loses X strength, apply X weak, exhaust. Obtain a random... Uh, let's go with obtain a random potion. That's always like a pretty stable one. Um... Remove two cards from your deck. That's pretty good. Empty cage. So let's do that and that. Yes, it was a very good boss fight considering my health. Yeah, I, I was I was in pretty rough sorts there. Um It sucks that, like, you can't get Steam achievements when you're even using, like, quality of life mods. Like, oh, here's, like, colored icons. Like, really? That disables Steam achievements? Why? <laughs> um... Okay, I could double rest there. I could rest right after an elite there. Ooh, I could get triple rest going that way. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see what path I want to take. I'm gonna start here. Hit a certain progress level. Yeah. You know, like, whatever, like, I'll play without mods for now, but then, like, eventually, once I have what I deem to be enough mods, I'll probably switch over to playing modded. Also, I'm gonna switch over to sitting back down. Eh. 
<laughs> my per my model just like slowly shifting up very weird but very funny <laughs> Um, okay, then these, there we go. I need to figure out how to mount the, um, camera above. If you've modded this, then disable achievements. Yeah. There, there's some games that have like features like that enabled and it, it's like, um, uh, okay, uh, I, I think DRG is, like, a great example of that, um, Deep Rock Galactic, like, there's three tiers of, like, mods, there's, um, I, I forget the names, something approved and then sandbox, so, the first tier, it's like, yeah, this kind of fits in with, like, the vision of the game, y you can just use them, uh, approved is, uh, well, yeah, these are fine. It doesn't modify it too much, but like it's it's still not like exactly fitting into like the the original vision of the game. Um, and then there's sandbox, which is like, n n no, th this is like, oh, you're spawning in enemies or you're spawning in weapons or, or stuff like that. So it's yeah. Yeah, from programming uh, point of view, yeah. Oh, I wish uh, we had known of that, Cloudy, because I would have loved to have been getting the achievements for D Divinity, but uh, at this point, I think it's too late, and it's, like, not a big deal to me anymore, but it would have been a, a nice to have for for that. Dirig the Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, alchemize? Yeah, I'll get a potion. Let's see. Terror? Probably terror. Oh, I just added a bunch of extra days. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I have the big thing going on, you know? Like, I, I'm, I'm thinking through everything super clearly and... <laughs> Uh, add four shivs to your hand. Um, don't have the golden idol. Um. Okay, I'll do this. Hmm. Okay. This one's just literally random chance. Um. I'll do the 70% chance, chance to double it. The nemesis was slain. You lost the bet, but at least you weren't gouged by a lance. Ah, oh, unfortunate. The th I normally take the other way, but this time I was like, no, I'll take it safe. Didn't work out that way. I'll play it safe. That's what I meant to say. Whoops. Ah, shit. That's what I get for playing too fast.
Um, we'll do that. And we'll do that. Just slowly reducing the uh, metallicize. No, plated armor. Mm. There we go. I lost more health than I needed to there. gonna lurk for now appreciate you also Kunuda if you haven't make sure to apply to the giveaway <laughs> um acrobatics hmm I think my hand is getting too big. Um, I think we'll skip for now. Ooh, this fight. Um, I think we do this, this, and we'll spend the point on this. Yeah, these two. I always take out the uh, Mystic first. The Mystic and the Centurion. Mm. You know what? No, I shouldn't do that one. I should do this one. Um, you know, I, I, I should probably just defend. Yeah, heals both of them. Um, this one, two, three, and then. Probably should have used Flying Knee instead, but, you know, we make mistakes. Uh, okay, that's 30 damage. Um, yeah, let's discard this. Oh, it's, uh, two cards. Um, 12. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do one, two, three, and then one, two, three. discard blessing of the forge ooh retain yeah I think retain is what we go with do I tempt fate I think I do let's go for it ah <laughs> Ugh. okay 
Um, to this. Retain is pretty good to have. Then attack, attack. Let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, I should have done that earlier. Um, let's do that. Oh, shit. Um, I think we're going to discard Terror. I'll go ahead and take a look. Um, I think we get rid of Alchemize. I'm going to get a wound. And I'll keep that for next turn. I might need to use Ghost in a Jar for any chance to stay alive. Though I'm, uh... I think I'm probably dead. <laughs> um... Let's see, that's 20. You know what? No, I can survive this. I'll keep this. It's not looking super good. Hey. We pulled it through. <laughs> Captain's wheel for the third turn. Uh, we'll get rid of the skill potion. Mm. Storm of Steel. This one's a pretty good card. I think we'll just go with Backstab, though. Um, we just got heal. The cultists. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll go here. Um, and then we'll do this. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Infinite blades. Craw! <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll spend four here. And then that's most of the damage. I should have used the regen potion. I think I'll still use the regen potion. Uh, nope. Let's do this strike, this strike. And then that's the right amount there. Well laid plans. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. 
gains three strength at the end of its turn. Okay. Um. 13 away. Um. I think we do this to discard this, and then we'll get a potion. A fear potion. We'll retain this. Um. No. It was, like, a very close call, but actually spending, like, that, like, X number of health to try and get this was super worth it. Um, because that, that's been, like, this kunai's been what's been keeping me, like, above board. <laughs> Just, like, having that extra dexterity for, uh, blocking has been super clutch. Okay, so I know I'm getting a card to be able to deal damage next turn. And I also get these two shivs, which I always get those. Fire potion. It's nice. But I don't know if it's worth it, you know? Also, what boss am I facing? This one. Okay. Um... 10 and 10? That seems pretty good. Wait. Yeah, yeah. I'm skipping the potion. Um, Up here. Ninja scroll. At the start of each combat, add three shivs into your hand? Hell yeah. That, that starts me out with one dexterity. Uh, I think we just take the rest. You were knocked unconscious. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> it's being a shiv build. It is. Um, the one thing I don't have... Um, here, I'm going to save and quit. Just so I can show this off. Um, compendium. Card library. Green. Um... Accuracy. Shivs deal four additional damage. So I don't have this card. This would make it like truly a shiv build. Um, the other thing I don't have is a cloak and dagger. Um, where is that at? Cloak and dagger here. Um, uh, gain six block and add one shiv into your hand. Uh, or or I think the upgraded version is two shivs. Yeah, so this uh, and this are like the two additional shiv build things. Okay. Ooh, I got terror right away. Uh, so I want to take out this one because that one can lock me in place and make it so I can't actually uh, attack. <laughs> Able to take out a complete enemy on the first turn, by the way. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we do a dash and then fly me. Mm, don't need to alchemize. Yeah. 
Yeah, unfortunate. Um, let's just end it. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm feeling good enough that I will fight an Act One uh, Elite. Or actually, no, it's an Act One and an Act Two Elite. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Uh, get rid of that. And... I'll get rid of that. Do this. Well, I didn't get it. Okay. I could have used Fear Potion. Maybe I should have used Fear Potion, but... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um... Well-laid plans... Um, he's going to get some strength. I think that's fine. Let's see, six. This is 14. Yeah, I'll be able to kill him next turn almost certainly there's like a it's a like six choose five or six choose one yeah I, I i don't know what the exact statistics would be but i i should be able to take him down next turn oh yeah and i get these two anyways um so we do this we do this and this. Ah, shoot. Okay. So that's 22. I'm blocking that. I'm going to put terror on here. Yeah. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. So you're gone. Blade dance. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yes, the anchor did come in clutch. Or actually, not the anchor, the uh, captain's wheel came in clutch. It's the anchor for turn one, it's the cleat for turn two. I think it's called the cleat. Uh, and it's called, and it's the uh, captain's wheel for turn three. All ship turns, all, all nautical terms. Nice. Prayer wheel. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. That's pretty nice. Pair. Raise your max HP by 10. Uh, it got lowered by... No, it got increased by 6 earlier. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Um, 100 gold. A. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take accuracy. And we're going to go here. And I think I think we 
don't rest. Maybe one combat is all we have left. Let's see. That would be 88. You know what? Sure. We'll we'll rest here. No, we, we upgrade. We upgrade. We're we're going to do accuracy. There we go. Um ooh. So for every five cards, so that means I have 20, so that would heal me 12 HP whenever I enter a rest site. That's pretty decent. One additional card to choose from. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply to vulnerable. Um... Oh, do I want secret weapon? No, secret weapon doesn't make sense with my build. Think we do hand drill? And think we remove a card? Do we remove a card? It'd probably be a strike. Yeah, I think we're going to remove a card. Let's remove a strike. I like gold. Um, at the end of your turn, you gain Frail. And Frail is less... Actually, because of the Kunai and my build, this isn't that bad. The Mr. Krabs meme, exactly. This actually... Like, other than feeling bad about stealing, like, from this person, uh... As far as gameplay mechanic goes, this isn't that bad, you know? Is my head starting to skip around? Hmm. I don't know if, like... Like, the iPhone isn't actually, like, that warm right now, so I don't know why there would be any weirdness with that. Anyways, I'm gonna take this. Have you no shame? You have some shame. Letter opener. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. So I now have something for uh, playing three attacks, and I now have something for playing three skills. And... As much as I want to upgrade something, I think to play it safe, now would be the right time to grab recall. It is a pretty awesome relic to get, yeah. Uh, accuracy. Infinite blades. Well-laid plans. Um... Neutralize, backstab, shiv, shiv, shiv. Um, and we will keep... We'll keep this one. Deal 10 damage, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, let's see. I think I just focus it here. And this is 14. Yeah, I'll do this. Dash. That's unfortunate. Not awful, but not great. Um... 
Um, that, this, that. There we go. And I think I'm going to keep Terror. No, because I discarded it. Exactly. No, you took my shiv. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. <laughs> um, let's see. Eight. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Um. I think now's the time for an intangible. No, I, I can take this damage. I can take this damage. Uh, I think I'm gonna beat down this one. Discard the shame. I'm the tank. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, I'm gonna do this for like whittling that down. Um, and I might do this to then do this. Okay, end turn, and then I'll keep this. Okay, here's where I use this, because now I'm intangible to these two abilities. Because that was 51 damage. <laughs> um, this one has dash? I don't care. Um... Here, we'll get a little bit of block. Um, discard that and that. And we'll do this. <laughs> the big, <laughs> just, it looks so menacing. And it's like one, <laughs> just one little damage. <laughs> No, I got shame. <laughs> um, it's not actually a big deal, but like, yeah. Pathetic. <laughs> exactly. Um, let's save. Alchemize. If I have extra energy on this next turn. Let's see. So that. Yeah, so I will alchemize and then strike. There we go. That was probably like in recent memory. That was one of the easier fights against that boss I had. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. A thousand cuts. Whenever you play a card, deal one damage to all enemies. Please, please don't have the Time Lord. Please, 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 please don't have the Time Lord. Like, I... I am set up for success. So long as it's not the Time Lord that we're going against. Exactly, yeah. It is MVP. Um... Yeah, and we're gonna get the slaver's collar. No! Fuck! Why? Why is it this one? Why is it every time that I go for this build that it's it's that enemy? Do they have some sort of recognition of what type of build you're doing? And then they're like, oh, let's fuck them over. Ugh. Ugh. 
like there's nothing I could do there's literally like at this point in time there is nothing I could do that you cannot recover from this you've gone through two acts building up your deck and then you're fucked yes I have the extra damage shift thing we're gonna try and do it but like oh it, it, it's just so frustrating because it's like I, I've been playing so well and then uh, whatever whatever <laughs> you know um okay i like donu or or like th the other two perfectly fine but like i i, I don't like th the time lord's probably my least favorite honestly like i i don't like the time lord yeah um That's an elite fight that way. Yeah, excuse me. Um, I think we go to this elite fight because there's immediately a fire. Yeah. Okay, we take out the exploder first. So well laid plans. Dash. Backstab slash shiv. Lol, you thought <laughs> exactly. A thousand cuts? Is that worth doing? Um, also, what's the upgrade for a thousand cuts? Is it just cheaper? No, two damage. Uh, it's a it's the same trade-off, you know, like two damage instead of one damage. Oh, accuracy. Uh, I have retain. So I will retain accuracy to have a shiv on next turn. Yeah, so infinite blades. I'm going to play this just because. Now that's unfortunate. Um... End turn, retain accuracy. Infinite blades, accuracy, blade dance. Um, stop dazing me. There we go. That was probably the smartest way I could have handled that. Um, and we'll keep flying knee. Doesn't matter too much, but we'll keep flying knee. I should have blocked and then attacked. Oh, drop an additional card reward. I didn't process exactly what that meant. Um, This one's pretty good. It's not good against the Time Lord, though. I, I need to keep that in mind with what I'm doing. I actually don't want any of these. I think dodge and roll will be good against the time lord like all of these decisions i'm making from now on is for specifically we're facing against the time lord let's prepare the best we can for the time lord
Infinite Blades. Um, Blade Dance. No, shit. I am like, yes, I'm saves coming, but I'm, I'm like, I forgot about the handful thing. So infinite blades. Um. Oh, I've definitely save scummed before. Just, I don't know. Like t today, I haven't been safe scumming. <laughs> Um Let's go ahead and do this Yeah, let's terror and then backstab the last one Terror Backstab Thousand cuts. Eleven, sixteen. That blocked most of it. Yeah, let's do it. Wallade plans. Strike. I don't have enough for that. I think I'm going to take a bit of damage, and I'll be fine with it. Do this one and then this, and we'll do th that and then that. There we go. I think I handled that fight pretty well, not perfectly, but pretty well. Um. Predator, Cloak and Dagger. Huh. I think, even though it's not amazing for going against the Time Lord, I think Cloak and Dagger is still the right move, especially with accuracy. Um... We're going to grab finisher as well. Gain two dexterity apply too late for the membership card, I think. 
There's another shop there. But I don't think 153 with like one fight in between is like a good decision. Um, Swift Strike might be okay. Co workers are always playing Slay at lunch, so you've probably watched hundreds of games by now, but not gonna lie, I still have no idea what you're looking at. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a little bit to, like, get used to, but, like, a high level, there's three types of cards. There are attack cards, generally deal damage. There are skill cards, which can do, like, a variety of different things, but they're, like, utility-based things. Um, and then there's power cards, which change the way that the game is played from then on. So, like, this power card gives me a shiv, which is an attack card every turn. Um, or this one makes it so that at the end of my turn, I keep a card. Uh, or whenever I, uh, play a card, it deals damage. Um, shivs deal additional damage, that sort of stuff. Uh, th there's a fourth type of card, curses. They harm you. They hinder you. So... It, it's yeah so it, it's generally broken up into like those four different groups um and then there's four different characters which each have their own sort of uh toolkits and tool sets so um with just like with most roguelike games you're trying to find a synergy and build around that so this synergy that i have um uh, I, I just decided at the start of the game, hey, let's, uh, I got the chance from, um, I think it, it, is it called Neo? What's it called? Uh, Neo. Yeah, Neo with a W at the end. Um, so Neo gave me the opportunity to upgrade a card right away. And I was like, sure, let's upgrade Neutralize. Uh, and then from there, I just kind of chose cards based around zero cost. So yeah super high overview doesn't give you like the full picture of what it is like what the game is but like that's like generally like if if you've played roguelikes before you'll kind of like get it as you hop into the game um today's stream was three roguelikes and then um after this uh whenever this run ends pretty much uh we'll be hopping into super auto pets Um, I think we get Bag of Marbles. Apply one vulnerable. Yeah. Sorry if my description made things more confusing. I was just trying to give like a very, very high level of what the game is about. <laughs> You're, at at a, a very, very high level, you're looking at cards. <laughs> so true, so true. <laughs> These cards are made of cards. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to get another kunai trigger this turn. But I'm at 17. Okay, so health bar. Uh, this is how much damage will be blocked. Here's my health bar. And they're intending to attack for 12 damage. Um, there, there's like other little bits. But if you hover over your character, it says infinite blades. At the start of turn, add one shift to your hand. Dexterity, increase block gain by cards uh, by two. So like you can hover over the characters like if you don't know what uh, everything means. And it provides a description. Um, it does provide like a short synopsis down here. So like if you know what these symbols mean, you can just look at the symbols. But um, like, yeah, it, it, like you can just look at the UI and tell what um, what everything is basically. There was definitely some lag there. 
Yeah. I need to look into that. Why why sometimes the model's lagging a little bit? Like, is it the phone? <laughs> Who knows? Um... 12 damage. As soon as it triggers its ability, I'm going to be in a pretty rough place. So let's do 1,000 cuts. I think we do infinite blades right now. As much as I would love to use blade dance, I think we use infinite blades. Okay. Okay. So this ability is going to be pretty rough for like it's 10 damage every turn, I think. Your short synopsis was way more detailed than any time you've asked your coworkers. Most of the time they just mumble some lingo that's on the cards and then go back to hunched over their phone. <laughs> Valid, yeah. Yeah, and like each, each card gives its own description of what it does. So it, it, it just takes some playtime. Um, by some playtime, I mean I have uh, 160 hours in this game. So <laughs> it was a good description. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think we'll do this. Yeah. Well laid plans. Do I want to keep that? Yeah, I think I will keep that. Okay. At the end of your turn, take 10 damage. So I need to finish this fast. Uh, and we can discard Shane. Okay, good. That does trigger against the block I had. Nice. Okay. The flex would be pretty nice. Next turn, draw two additional cards. I don't know about that one. Um... I think we get another prepared, honestly. And then... I have four cards out of 27 that can do discard. I don't think I take Sneaky Strike. I think I take Dagger Throw. Before each encounter, so um, when you start, you start with five. Uh, for, so there's four different characters available. Um, just generally speaking, it's a red, green, blue, and purple character. Uh, each of them have like their own sort of build. Um, generally, though, you start start with five strikes, five defense, and then maybe some other cards. Um, for this one, you start with five strikes, five defense this survivor card and this neutralized card um and then after each fight there is a, like choose one card out of these three uh and then for uh i think boss fights you get uh these yellow cards which are like rare cards there, there's like rare and then legendary so there's like three different rarities to the cards um, I think elites might have these blue ones or like maybe it's in the shops that you can get the blue ones Like I I, I forget the exact specifics of where you can get which but it's 
mostly after combats is when you're getting new cards. Is my hand good enough as it is, though? I might need this just for, like, the pure damage. So it's not, yeah, so it's not building it before each encounter. It's building it up through the course of the game. So this is Act 3. Um, we're working towards this big boss at the end. This boss sucks for the type of build I decided, so I'm, like, trying to recover. Uh, I'm, I'm playing much slower because I'm trying to, like, make smart decisions for preparing for that fight. We want to go here. Um, Dexterity potion, obtain a relic. Lose 50 gold. We need terror. So let's lose... Wait, attack's an option? Yes, it's a very cool system. I, I really, really enjoy it. Um, the, the system that Wild Frost has, um, which is the first game that we played in today's stream, that is also a really good system. It's different, but it's really good. We'll get rid of the Dexterity Potion. Uh, we got Paper Crane. Enemies with weak deal 40% less damage rather than 25 well, I think the only thing giving weak is this neutralize here. But that's pretty good, you know. It's better than, like, a kick in the shins, you know? <laughs> um, I'd like to smith, but I think we need to rest. Uh, smithing is for upgrading cards. So, um, see how this one's green text and it has a plus? That means its ability is stronger. So, like, this is a normal defend. It does five block, but this one's a defend plus, so it gives eight block. Um, so smithing is the process of upgrading the cards from the lower tier to the higher tier. Uh, or you can rest, which gets you 20% of your health back. <sighs> it's this one. Okay, so this enemy sucks. <laughs> uh... Reactive. Upon receiving attack damage, it changes its intent. And the intent is that it is aggressive. Uh, but it changes the amount of damage it does. How many attacks in a row it does. Uh, it might curse you, causing like this really bad ability to be applied to you. It, it really sucks. Um, but we start with Thousand Cuts, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yes, it's very nifty game design, but it sucks to plan against. Exactly. So, like... Okay, so that's 21 damage. I think I'll attack again. Um... Six. I'm gonna leave it at six. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to risk it becoming, like, a worse thing, you know? Thirteen is pretty okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah. So I'm gonna end the turn again. Um... I think we... Keep prepared. Okay, this ability. You do not want this negative effect applied to you. It gives you a curse card. Um, here, what's this one called? Writhing Mass. It's been a while since I've gotten this curse, so I'm um, uh, checking what the card is, but it, it's just a really bad card. Um... Um, getting a parasite is not the end of the world. You usually have about 30 cards at this point. 
So one curse that does nothing bad unless you remove it in 30 cards isn't that bad. Eh, okay. I could see that. But still, we're going to strike at it. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Yes, we want that accuracy there. Um... I don't think we're going to defend because we already have 18. Let's get accuracy. Okay. Risky play is to use finisher. I think we're going to go for the roulette. <laughs> Oh no, I messed that up. Ah oh, well. Okay. So really don't want that. 22? I'd be pretty okay with that, honestly. Because that's only four damage against me. Yeah. Infinite Blades. We'll take Cloak and Dagger. Ten. That, that's pretty good. That's about the best outcome you could ask for. <laughs> Okay. Um I've been break because of malleable, I've been breaking its um armor quite a bit. So I've been giving it plenty of weakness. So I don't really need to use terror. Um twenty two. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with that, honestly. Yeah, let's end turn. prepared blade dance yeah we definitely want to run with that um two cards to discard um i think we discard that one and yeah we'll go with flying knee oh it's dead okay <laughs> i thought it had a lot more health to go <laughs> Um, we'll take a prepared, um, three shivs. Like, this isn't that good for my build. So I think... I think I'm gonna go with Blade Dance. Rest gets a 70. Oh, Gremlin Horn's so good! Ah, oh, not not great against the Time Lord, but it's it's so good. But there's no guarantee we're gonna see another chest, so I have to take the Sapphire Key. So, um, uh, Dozer, I'm I'm going for a secret 
uh, boss by doing like three challenges. Basically, there was like an empowered uh, elite, which is like a mini boss, um, not taking a chest reward and instead taking this blue key. Uh, and then one time I couldn't upgrade or use, um, uh, th like I couldn't rest, rest or upgrade a card. So once you do all three of those things, you get to go to like the real final boss. Hi, Sarah, how you doing? Cutie crystal? <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to use this. Then let's go ahead and take this one out. We'll use this here. So this is like an EE -E boss. Uh, I don't know what EE -E is, but this fight is not a boss. Um, so, so here's like a normal enemy encounter, and then this is an elite. So this this has like the bigger horns. So this is an elite Easter egg. Gotcha. Uh, no, th this is not an Easter egg boss. Um, uh. Oh, oh, uh, sorry. After this, uh, after I beat this and I have these three, yes, then there's an Easter egg boss after this, basically. Like, it's hinted at in achievements. Um, and it, like, gives you, like, a little cutscene after the first time you beat, like, the unofficial ending. So, yeah. Um... Two cards to discard. No, no, you're good. You're good. I, I, uh, I had to remember what I had just talked about because uh, my memory is really bad. <laughs> I think we discard these two, and then we get dodge and roll, and blade dance, and we do one, two, three. Four, nice. Okay. Let's see, a thousand cuts, cloak and dagger. Stabby indeed. <laughs> discard shame. And then we want to discard. Let's see, we're at 18. So I don't think we want to use dash this turn. Flying knee, strike, and then let's defend. The Silent, honestly, is one of my favorite characters to play. Just very fun. Also, I just realized that in Peglin, the um, uh, spiral something, uh, like, I forget what exactly the relic is called, but... It looks like her blade. <laughs> I hadn't realized that before. Um, let's discard this. Ah, my greed. I thought I could get it in a single turn. Um, 
Here, we'll throw some po poison on just so I don't take damage. <laughs> Add three shivs to your hand. I think we go with backstab. Yeah, we go with that. Oh, the head. Oh, what's the, like... I think it doesn't do super strong attacks until later, and then... And then it just starts, like, wailing on you, if I remember correctly. <laughs> um... Okay. Whenever you play a card, Giant Head receives 10% more damage from attacks this turn. Interesting. Here, let's just play this skill card. Ooh, that's good. I think we choose this and this. We do a thousand cuts and then that and that. So it's so strange, like this, um, this elite is like to me it's like the antithesis of the time lord because the time lord you can't play a lot of cards but this one you want to play a lot of cards you know like it just feels so weird um let's dodge and roll and then I think we attack and attack. Three. So three turns until I get wailed on. Um. Let's alchemize. Okay, cool. I can heal up. Um. One, two, three. Accuracy. Terror. I want to keep one for that. So let's have well laid plans. And then one, two, three. Nice. One. Uh, I only have it at half health. Um, 30 damage, 15 block, I can block half the damage, which I think is good enough for right now. Maybe I take this real quick. Yes. <laughs> yes, fear time. Uh, let's... Oh. I think I want to try and block most of this. We'll keep the dagger throw.
So Sarah, you'll get a kick out of this. My microphone keeps getting registered by my uh, leap motion as a hand. So sometimes my hand will just be like up here for, for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I had to move my mic today because it kept triggering. <laughs> Okay, that, that was a pretty good fight against that boss. Mini boss. Uh, nunchaku. Uh, every time you play 10 attacks, gain energy. I'll get some blur. Yeah, <laughs> like... It's it's only where the foam on my microphone is that's being registered as body, basically. It, it was a very strange thing to um. Yeah, here I I can I can share it again. It's not too hard to uh, pull up, but uh, game capture. Okay. Specific window. This. Okay, so microphone. Like here's the bottom of the foam. Uh, down here is like where the light is. Um, yeah, and it's just it's about the same as like what my hands are, you know. <laughs> so it's it's a little bit weird. <laughs> and remove that again. Okay, um, hey, accuracy, infinite blades. Uh, we'll do this. Yeah, so one, two. Let's do this. Hmm. Yeah, like I might try like what uh Vix was suggesting in Discord, I might try and figure out how to mount the um ultra leap or the leap motion from above, but um with just where I have my microphone positioned right now, I would have to do something different. Um, I've been thinking of maybe trying out like a shotgun microphone, but it, it the current software suite I use for my microphone doesn't have like a way to like officially handle like XLR microphones. So um, I, I I really like this microphone, but I wish they would take like some of the core pieces of it and make it like an XLR interface. Um, let's do thousand cuts and infinite blades. Um, so I use the beacon mic right now, um, which is like their own USB microphone. It's like within the, like they say, and I would generally agree, it's within the same class as the, um, sure. I think it's called the sure SMB. Uh, it's, it's within like the same class of microphone, I'd say, like similar design and stuff, but it's a USB microphone. Um, and then uh, to actually have the mic on my main computer, I use like uh, just some jumper wires from like external device to line in like between like I, I have two uh, aux cables running between the two computers to pass like audio signals across basically. You have a stand mic next to your monitor? Gotcha, gotcha. I also had to turn off my eye tracker, at least while it's mounted to my chest, because the eye tracker, you know, the, the, like, IR beam there, 
like <laughs> it confuses the leap motion because you know it has IR tracking so it's it's a little bit of an issue <laughs> um let's go ahead and do this yeah and we'll get rid of terror don't need it right now more infinite blades um I should have been using that <laughs> well <laughs> I tried I tried to get a new potion it just gave me a flex potion again energy potion uh, we'll get that instead of the flex potion uh, nothing from here is really useful and insured we'll take another one of those <laughs> yes exactly okay so that's 80 90 something so I'll upgrade a card instead um, and for the upgrade I think I'll do another infinite blades as being innate the maw okay Okay, so accuracy, terror, mm. I think we're going to use the energy potion right now. Oh, I could have gotten an energy from the Nintaku. My goodness. Yeah, normally I'm a little bit scared by the mob, but that was like easy. <laughs> um, stabby. <laughs> um, I think we go ahead and grab it. It's not amazing, but I think we grab it. Choke. So I'm fit. Uh, important information. I'm facing up against the Time Lord. Um, like. I think if I wasn't facing against the Time Lord, I would definitely take Choke. But because I'm facing against the Time Lord, I want some way of dealing, like, consistent damage. Maybe we take another Terror? Just because he removes debuffs, I think. I'm pretty sure so, anyways. So we'll take another Terror. Okay. Let's Let's get thousand cuts doing two damage Oh 
Oh no, my hand is full. Uh, that's fine. I got all of my innate stuff in here. Okay. Well, there was nine cards on my first turn. <laughs> Is the Time Lord more painful on the inside? <laughs> and gains two strength. I hope that this works. Okay, cool. It didn't wipe out its own thing. Okay. Infinite Blades. Draw reduction. Draw one less card next turn. That is fine. Noxious fumes. We'll play this. And then one, two, three. have done dagger throw before draw three cards maybe um Retain doesn't even work because it like ends my turn. Well, I definitely get to play accuracy next turn at least. Accuracy. Okay, six. One, two, three. So this is going to be forty five sixty damage. It's such a weird amount of health, four hundred fifty six. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna take both of these. Just refresh the clock. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh, it's going to. It's gonna boost.
Um, let's draw three cards. Well laid plans. Uh, I want to keep this. Oh, okay. I, I, I think I have it. I think I have it actually. Foolish, foolish. <laughs> Terror? Wait. Did it heal up? It healed up? Oh, okay. This, this is fine. Pain. Uh. Choose a card to retain. I think I'll retain Blade Dance. It's four cards I'll need to play, but... <sighs> there was no way I was surviving that without this. Sure, we'll save this. Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> I'm so happy about that. <laughs> uh I think legitimately, like I, I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. I think legitimately that's the first time that I've won against the Time Lord when I've had the uh, zero cost card build. <laughs> uh. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this evil? You prepare your daggers. You deal 747 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask yourself, have I been here before? The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness begins to fade. A sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The heart retreats upwards. A large door is revealed in its place. And here we go. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Smith. Um, I've beaten it twice. Once with the red and once with purple. I need to do it for green and blue still. Uh, there's separate achievements for each of them. Oh. I think we go with infinite blades. Make it an eight. <laughs> Whenever you apply a debuff, they take five damage. Ooh. I think we get accuracy. Deal eight damage next turn, gain energy. I think we grab slice. I think we grab flying knee and we'll call it good. Okay, so this is an interesting fight different from like every other fight. If you are facing away from an enemy, 
you take an additional 50% damage from that enemy. So, since this one's going to be blocking and this one's attacking, I want to unload all of my attacks into this enemy. That's a good amount of damage I put in. Oh, and it applies burn too. Um. Okay, so here's where math stuff starts to come in. So if I face this way, it's going to be 12. And this will be 9 times 3, which is 27. So 27 plus 12 is 39. Versus facing this way, it's 18 and 18, so 36. So it's better to face this way at the end of the turn, at least. If I did my math right, anyways. Wait, hold on. 27 plus 12, which is 39. No, it's better to face this way. Because this is 36 this way, it's 39 the other way. So I'm going to just keep unloading into this one. Um, Let's see if we can get accuracy. We cannot. But we can do this okay I'm just wanting to unload, uh, unload, unload as much attacks into this one as possible. Um. then this a little bit scary i won't have any potions this next fight to help me out okay so 14 or 21 um so 10 so it was probably six or like seven something like that it's probably seven so 14 14 versus 14, 20 versus, um, 21. So it's a little bit better to face this way. Okay, I'm handling this pretty well, I think. I, I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this fight. Yeah, finishing the one on the right off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll give terror to this one. Um, I'm glad I grabbed that second terror. Normally, I only grab one of them at a time, but like having two sets of terror was what allowed for me to win against the um uh time lord like without that second terror i would not have survived i'm 
I'm still worried about the fight against the heart, but um, feeling decent, you know? Let's see. 19. This is six ad additional damage. So that'd be 35, right? Yeah. I'm okay taking one damage. Obtain a potion. Block potion. That That's actually really clutch. That'll be really, really good. <sighs> 64 health. 64 health to beat the heart with. Whew. Okay. Okay. Take a deep breath. Gambling chip. Eh. I'll take it, but it's not super helpful. Getting anxiety and sweaty from watching this. We'll take this for the shiv. I literally want this starting set. So... Invincible can only lose 300 HP this turn. It starts out vulnerable because of our bag of marbles. How how does the corrupt heart trip on those marbles? Who knows, but it did. Uh, <laughs> Beat of death. Whenever you play a card, take one damage. <sighs> okay. And that is against my armor. Just threw it at them. Hooray. Twelve individual damage. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep my health high or as high as possible and I'm gonna drink this right now yes the skill potion also true yeah let's take a look set up um I think I think with my build it's probably more worth just not having it clutter up my deck. So I'm probably going to go with crippling cloud here. Exactly, yeah. Like, it could have been really useful, so thank you for calling that out, Sarah, but, like, none of them ended up being super useful for my build.
this music's really good for this fight. Yeah. Thirty six damage. I probably have the energy to exhaust that. Okay, so I only take 12 damage this turn. I forget what this buff is. I think I'm gonna go with this over this. Eight. This is 24 damage. But I take four damage from this versus one damage from this. Nah, I will discard this one. Um, and I think I'm gonna get rid of this prepared. Oh, I should have gotten rid of this. Never mind. Oh, it gave itself artifact. Okay. Which is unfortunate timing for terror to show up, but, uh... <laughs> four times twelve. So it's four damage twelve times. <sighs> so that's blocking half of it, at least. Or close to half. I might play this terror. I'm gonna go ahead and play this terror. Just to negate the artifact. Okay. Hold on. Um, this? I'm dead. Like, this is 24 damage, but that's, like, nothing. Um... Yeah. <sighs> ah, well. This is just a really tough boss, but um, I'm really happy with how I played today. I, th I think I made all the, the, the best decisions I could. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not upset with how I played today, so yeah. <sighs> like, if I had gotten Ghost in a Jar, I probably would have survived that. 767, that was my Boy Scout troop. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of fun with Slay the Spider there. Only some minor mistakes earlier on, but nothing of consequence. Exactly, yeah. Uh, 
like it, it that i'm really proud of that time lord fight i i did really really good in that time lord fight i'm really happy like i'm not trying to like like oh i'm so great or whatever like I, I i just felt i did really well and i was really happy with how i performed there um the i i did as best as i could against like the two guards like I, I i'm really happy with how i played there so yeah um not not upset with losing there just the heart is a really really tough boss <sighs> okay um i'm going to go take a uh, another quick break um just rest my eyes from looking at the screen for so long and all that um and we will be switching over to super auto pets right after this um uh if there's enough people interested in playing and, and um doing like a versus lobby uh i i can host a versus lobby and then we'll just play through probably turtle pack for if like i'm gonna assume that most people haven't played a lot of super auto pets before so i'm, I'm going to host a turtle pack pet um well turtle pack versus uh or if there's not enough people interested i will play uh just by myself like weekly pack or something like that so yeah um anyways i'll be right back and see you all soon bye bye <laughs>
Hello, I am back. I'm gonna switch over the game. We'll be here but lurking. Appreciate your lurk. Going to edit the description. So at 7 11. It is switching to super auto pets. Change is saved. Okay. <clears throat> had to get like a little bit of a snack something to eat um i just grabbed like a little breakfast sandwich uh, i ate like right before stream but um i was only really planning to go for another hour uh but i i, I i'm still feeling good and uh i, I want to do two full hours of super auto pets So yeah, um, I am curious, like, I know, Sarah, you'll be lurking, but, um, uh, now would be the time for anybody who wants to do, like, a, um, versus lobby. Uh, right now is when I'm going to be doing the versus lobby. Oh, I should also tweet that I'm switching games. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, if I don't hear that people want to do a versus lobby, I'll, I'll probably just, uh, get into doing an arena mode. Um, quote, tweet. Switching from Slay the Spire over to Super Auto Pets. So going for another two hours. Still another two hours total to go. Probably won't be able to focus enough. Valid. Okay. Okay. Um, what's this weekly pack again? Let's do some achievement hunting in the weekly pack. Like, we could go for Frog, we could go for Tamarin, Leech, the dreaded Meerkat. Really, I don't have the Peacock. Interesting. Um, yeah, let, let's do some achievement hunting. Okay, so... <clears throat> Four pets here. Let's say we want to go with the frog, right? Um, I think we grab duck, mouse, and possum. Yeah, we'll do this. Um... And we're going to do the vague monks. What is my hand doing? Hello, hello, hand. <laughs> I just looked up and I'm like, ah, hand. <laughs> okay, that uh... <laughs> rip. <laughs> um. That? That? Who knows what order the swaps will happen? Okay, so we know this swap will happen. And then this swap will happen. I don't actually want the baby ducks or the ducklings. I think it's called a duckling. The overpowered eggplants. 
It's just this is a surefire two three combination, you know? Okay. Giraffe is pretty good. Leech is also pretty good. Um I think How scaling is this pack? We can do seal scaling. Um, we have giraffe scaling. We have orangutan scaling with the lollipop. Hmm. I think we'll go with the giraffe for now. Do this, this, and just purchase this. Okay. Destroyed. <laughs> Um, I think we'll get another frog leveling up in the back. I think we sell the duckling to get this and that. Because that's like a 5-3 now. Put this at the back, maybe? Buff these two, five... Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Work. So the one thing with like having the VTuber set up like I do now, um, I think before with my camera set up, it sort of cut off like about here. Um, and so now you can like, since I kind of want the hands to be seen, you can now see well, like when I'm doing all of like the, the hand stretching stuff that I do. And it looks a little bit weird. <laughs> Maybe I just need to not be self-conscious about it. Um, I think we're going for Big Frog. Sure, let's level this. We can also try and level that. Let's do chocolate cake. Down to three lives. The deer's pretty good. Lion. Hmm. Moose. Oh, I didn't even, uh, like, I don't even think about the moose because of how bad. Uh. Let's try the moose. We'll, we'll try the moose out. <laughs> Hmm. 
Let's combine these. Ooh, scorpion. Um. Crane. I think we drop this for this. We drop this for this and we'll do that there's gonna be a lot of swapping back and forth it looks like or maybe Maybe I put this here, put a pepper here, and then we just freeze every tier five. Um, okay, two. Well, rip, uh, scorpion. Oh, that, that meat bone did me in. Okay, five. Um... Uh, I'll save a four. It's a four. Okay. The frog tried to swap, but it couldn't. Okay, cool. Okay, fives or sixes here. this better on here I don't know I'm gonna assume probably not six five I have four is good enough And honestly, I might throw on the scorpion, I might throw like a lollipop or something like that. I have the level three scorpion, right? Yeah, I have the level 3 scorpion, so no reason to do that. Do I have the level 3 crane? I do have the level 3 crane. Okay. Um. Nah, I can't do that. Okay. and sixes um we'll grab that five cool yeah unfortunate chocolate
The moose is supposed to be random, by the way. But it keeps hitting the giraffe. <laughs> Nice, nice. Might want to get some different equipment onto, onto the giraffe now. Fours might be okay. There's no melon armor, except for from the crane. So it's only if this hurts something. Hmm. Maybe I don't do that. Um, wish I could purchase that. There we go. Okay. Well, rip deer. Nice. Okay. Two more wins to go. Um, I think at this point we throw a pita bread on here. Moose. Save these two. Perfect. I, I, honestly, like, just, yeah, give me the pets I need. <laughs> Nine wins. Here we go. Oh, please. I'll settle for four. No. Okay. What? Whatever. 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 Who needs the nice, satisfying end, you know? Of course it was a German Shepherd team. <laughs> uh, I, I felt really good about this team. Like this, this was pretty well set up. About like, so for my weekly, uh, weekly pack Super Auto Pets videos, if I don't win on the first try, it's normally getting to like seven, eight, nine wins and then losing. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it, it's exactly like this. It's like, oh yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling strong. What the fuck is this team? What did I just come across? <laughs> In front of my crabber and goons? <laughs> no, not otter. A duck with two ducklings. Discombobulated carrots. Uh, I lose this. Yep. Um, let's go for the frog again. Got you thinking about Rangoons now? <laughs> Sorry about that. Interesting start for this, but... <laughs> Combine. Leech. Do I want to do anything with leech? I don't think so. Um. Curry out place near you that sells the best Rangoons, but they're closed for the night. No! So unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I've had Rangoons like maybe once or twice. Um. And I really enjoyed them. 
the only reason I haven't had them recently is like I, I just don't go out to places and like I could get like some frozen rangoons or whatever or, or maybe prepare something at home but I don't know it just sounds like a lot of effort kangaroo This is a really bad idea, but There we go. Yeah. <laughs> that air fry up super well. Pagoda? Ooh. Might have to take a look at that. Two peacocks. Let's throw a meat bone here. Uh, save this. Okay. Becoming the, you have an air fryer? I, I do have an air fryer. Um, I actually have, um, it's it's like a toaster oven it has an air fry setting but i can also do like oven type things in there so um what uh what we end up doing at home is like uh let's say the chicken needs to cook at x temperature but the fries need to cook at y temperature and therefore like different amounts of time we'll actually put the fries into the toaster oven um, and, and cook them up that way. But then if we were, like, wanting to reheat something that, like, normally you reheat it in an air fryer, uh, there's an air fryer setting, and so we use it for that. So this is a question I've been wondering from, like, <laughs> just... I've, I've been doing the Super Auto Pets videos for who knows how long, several months at this point, How's the audio levels in them? Like, I think they're fine, but... Also, who knows? <laughs> I listen through and I'm like, eh, I think it's fine, but also I don't know what other people think is fine. It's totally changed the way you cook, eat leftovers. God dang it, I sound like an air fryer salesperson. It has changed the way that I eat and cook leftovers. <laughs> I got antelope? No, that's not it. Orangutan, though. Um, let's do this. Sounded good to you on the ones you've watched? Gotcha. Glad to hear, glad to hear. Dozer, have you be been becoming a sap connoisseur? <laughs> um, deer. Do I want deer? I definitely want seal. I want seal more than orangutan. Been trying your best. <laughs> I like I'm trying to explain my thought process, but also like I um here, I'm going to go back to the main menu. So there's four packs right now. And right now on the live server, this puppy pack is like half the same pets as the turtle pack. So I started out when it was just the turtle pack and the puppy pack, and so I didn't have that much to like uh, learn initially and then it's like slowly building up can't understand much of what you see but you want to be supportive valid uh that's because you don't play the game though you're doing a great job the game is free it's so good for a free game well at least the turtle pack is free um the additional packs like cost money, but that helps the devs um, 
that that supports the devs to be able to like keep the servers up and running as well as like do continued development but like even the turtle pack there's like hours of gameplay with just the turtle pack and trying to get all the achievements there so yeah um we'll get the seal next time no <laughs> shit <laughs> the kangaroo is like a so not in a good place now oh that's unfortunate um yeah we'll do this um Let's throw on blueberries and throw on garlic. Maybe we do this, just so that we don't get swaps, and then the kangaroo can double buff from the deer. Hey, the garlic on the, <laughs> on the seal saved me. Uh, so seal, um, this is the only non-targeted food. Let's get this to level two and then start dropping food onto it. Or, you know, a chocolate also works. <laughs> uh, I already have the kangaroo achievement. Do I have the tapir achievement? I don't. But do I want the tapir achievement? Um, probably not. I should probably throw the pepper onto the kangaroo to keep it alive from snipes. This autumn background's really pretty. Ooh, garlic. <laughs> The garlic for the win. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I, I'm not doing the moose again, at least right now. Hmm. Okay. Seal is a really good scaler. I forget how they're reworking it, but like the new seal isn't nearly as fun, in my opinion. Okay, I think I, uh, I'm gonna turn off the model actually for a moment. It's it's bothering me that like my hands. Uh, is that? It's kind of in the right place. Never mind. I'll leave it. I don't know. Like, sometimes I look at it and it's like, that's much too high. That's like higher than where I actually have my hands at. But then other times I look at it and it's like, yeah, that's close to the right place. I'm wishy-washy about it. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay. Um... Sure, we'll do this. I don't really need or want to level that up. We'll save a steak. And we'll use a pepper. I think this round's a loss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it summoned a slug. No way I was gonna win to that.
Okay. Pretty decent group of things here. <sighs> Summon scum. <laughs> German Shepherd. Sure. Oh, not enough money. Rip. Nice, nice. We're at seven wins. We're going to switch that back. Kangaroo. No. Oh, the porcupine counter. <laughs> so deal six damage uh, back to the pet that hurt this. Just the break points were not there. Um, let's throw a pepper on this. Nice. Unfortunate. Okay. Mm. I could do this. That might be worthwhile, actually. Let's give it a go. So this will give 10. Uh, no, summon scum. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Do I want to continue playing in the weekly pack? Um, I could hop over to the test server. Maybe that's what I do. Hmm. Or maybe what? Uh, what achievements do I have left here? Let's do some turtle pack. It's been forever since I played turtle pack. The moist tugboats. Moist. Something I just realized. I meant to break up my recordings into like the two hour segments for like each game and I forgot to do that. So I'll have to do that later <laughs> with like FFmpeg or something like that. Um, sure, we'll combine here. Let's get a mosquito. Yeah, we'll get a mosquito. Yeah, something like that. Crime 77. 
Okay. I think we sell both pigs. Get the swan and pill the ant. Not exactly where I wanted it, but that's fine. Um, I think... I think we go with Hedgehog Blowfish. Blowfish, fantastic. Um... And honestly, we sell this for another swan. We might not win, but that's fine. Rip. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's with all these swans? Is this swan gaming? Is this swan time? Hedgehog. Right now I'm either set up for Swan Game or Hedgehog Blowfish. <laughs> ah. <laughs> close, close. This feels more like swan gaming to me. Like, I might be wrong here, but it... it... Throw this on the front for survival. Turtle. Yes. G game, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hedgehog blowfish time. Hedgehog blowfish. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> We're about to get a lot of draws here. Um, sure. We start with front swan because we can. Okay. <laughs> um. There? And sure, there. lost they had level three blowfish <laughs> oh 
Uh, sure, we'll take the two fish. The snooty sausages. Could have been the moist sausages, though. <laughs> Rip. I think I give an apple to the ant. Let's do this. Blowfish, hell yeah. And let's, oh, we can't. Oh well. We can start scaling it next turn. this otter and we'll bring another fish in we we probably shouldn't do another ant level up fish okay Two wins? Sorry, I was uh, distracted by something on bottom monitor. Okay, um, let's combine together these fish. Get a penguin? I think we need to keep this ant to survive, so... Squirrel. Do we want the squirrel? Tier 3 foods are salads and garlic. I don't think we need or want that. So we'll do this. And penguin. No. No. Okay. Giraffe. I love that the purchase sound for the giraffe is just giraffe. <laughs> Finally got some garlic for the puffer fish. Uh, double giraffe. Hedgehog. I think we replace this with this and we do this. Oh, we don't have enough. I think we'll level up the draft next turn. Um, even though it's not like the best scaling, it's a level up. Monkey? Yeah, we go with monkey. We pill. Cool. Um, and let's level up this. Okay. Put this at the back. At the back? 
Um, if they have a crocodile, it could be an issue. But other than that, there's not really any worry of having this at the back for right now, basically. I want this, um, pufferfish to get big. Big. Um, sure, we'll throw this in. We'll do something like that for now. <clears throat> There's one theme I really want, um, and I'll probably switch to it. Um, even though, like, sort of the branding for Super Auto Pets on my channel has been around this Savannah background, it's just the best of what I currently have. Um, oh, ooh, that this is a good shot. Um, the one I want, backgrounds, it's like the space theme. Also, the screen tearing is horrendous. Uh, and apparently, like, the devs and all the people in the Super Auto Pets Discord community have no idea what V-Sync is. And they're like, oh, I don't have any issue. It's like, really? <laughs> like, the, the tearing here is just horrendous. <laughs> And you see it in my videos, too. There's just a lot of, uh... Yeah. So, Moon is one that I want. Uh, underwater is another one that I would want. Either of those are really good. Uh, there's also several on the test server right now that are really good-looking that I would love to have at some point. But that's for the future. That's not right now. Um, let's... Monkey... Another monkey. I don't think we do that much monkey. Oh, well. Can you put it that way? Ah, fuck. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for uh, acting too rash sometimes. Uh oh. The sound of the crocodile just... <laughs> um, sure, another blowfish. We'll save the snail as protection. Just the superstition that if you don't save snail, you lose. <laughs> I don't know how much that superstition will hold up with the, the test server snail. That, that one's pretty rough. <laughs> Nice draw. Okay. I think we keep Croc. Okay, so we're at 50 there. Um, nothing. Save Mushroom for the Hedgehog. Sanic the Hedgehog. I'm tr honestly trying to get the level 3 Hedgehog, but it just hasn't been happening. the huh i just realized that i think a subscriber alert didn't play on stream for some reason um i i'm seeing it now under the latest subscriber uh 
Kitten Chuggle Nugget. Uh, a ch chuggle? Chuckle Nugget. Uh, thank you for the subscription. You're probably long gone, but I, I appreciate your sub anyways. Um... Let's go again. Sure, we'll get this. Uh oh, this isn't good. Yeah. Okay, let's hope we don't go against another hippo. Um, sure, we'll throw pizza out. There we go. <sighs> uh -oh. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Was a little bit worried there. Um, I want to put levels here. Let's do this. Put this back here. I think I do this. This crocodile dies. There's no way around that. This monkey also dies. More hedgehog. Oh, geez. Uh, there was skunk. <laughs> okay. Prospect of a skunk was terrifying. Um, I want this, but I don't think I can use that yet. I'm looking for another mushroom. Oh, level three bus, bus achievement they're going for. Nice. Um. I think we go a little bit longer. Yeah. I could go full hedgehog team. Sell and I'll have 12 next turn. Yeah, I think this will be our team next turn. If we win. If we win, we'll be able to do this next turn. No! <sighs> Steak on the beaver!
How unfortunate. I think you need to go with like two, um, what are they called? Puffer fish? I think you need to go with two puffer fish. Cool. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, snooty noobs, suave noobs. The undead noobs. They're noobs that mean undead. Nice, 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 nice. Do I want another beaver? Probably not. Hmm. We'll go for it anyways. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's combine dolphin. Dolphin's good early. Elephant? With the blowfish? Maybe. Let's combine the ducks and throw in the elephant. Um... Let's sell this beaver. Perfect hit, honestly. Couldn't ask for a better hit. Big stretch. I'm starting to feel it, having sat here in one place for <laughs> eight hours. And I'm currently planning to do like one more hour. <laughs> I'll probably go until like whatever feels right. And and that's not like a super definitive answer, but like, I don't know. There will be a point in which it feels right. And I'll know when that's, when that is. I feel like I've mentioned this in a previous stream before, but um, apparently better TTV has functionality for doing additional uh, emotes on YouTube, and uh, I've actually enabled it for my channel. I might need to do some updates for those emotes, but um, I, like having some custom emotes uh, until I get like uh, a YouTube partnership, like th that'll, that'll be nice to have, you know? Buffalo. Not buffalo, bison. I think I sell the duck for the bison. And then really push for the level three uh, hedgehog next turn. Um, we sell this for this. Parrot? It could do that, but it would die right away. Um, sure, we'll throw this here. Okay. Rip. <laughs> Elephant took out my bluefish. 
Sure, we'll go for level three elephant. There we go. I should have maybe sold the beaver for this. Not maybe, I definitely should have. That was poor decision making on my part. Rip. <laughs> Okay, we'll do this, we'll do this. And I think we saw the um, beaver this next turn. Perfect hits, honestly. Um, uh, Mammoth Pill, yeah. So what is this? It's six? Or is it three twice? Four damage to one random enemy. Ah. I made a couple of poor decisions there. I could have maybe survived with the pets I got just without those poor decisions. I think I need to get the zombie cricket achievement. Um, Zombie cricket. Yeah, I still need to get that. So... We can grab both of these. The concerned dumplings. Or even worse, the submissive shovels. Ah, rip. Okay, when I pill a level 2 cricket, do I get a level 2 zombie cricket or do I get a level 1 4 4 zombie cricket? I guess I'll see here very shortly. But there's no way of auto scaling with that. Huh. It's it's a decent pet. Level two zombie cricket. A, nice, okay. Kangaroo's pretty decent. Maybe I do this. And then... Maybe I do this. Oh. 
Ah, oh, so close. So very close. Um, sell that. Grab this. Ah, uh, fish. No. Hmm. We sell fish for snail. We'll keep the snail for now, and we'll do this. I think I need to stand again. Just been sitting for so long. Okay. Uh, another swan. We'll grab a camel and throw some garlic on it. And another camel. Turkey. Mm. I don't really have a summoning squad. I could pivot, but... Actually, you know what? We don't have that strong of a team right now. Cow. Um, we'll save the cow. Let's see, this would be four. Rooster? Kinda wanna scale up a rooster. Here, we can do penguin scaling. Gonna head off, uh, but it's been fun. Yeah, it has been. Thank you so much for stopping by, Cloudy. I really appreciate it. And actually for hanging out for most of the stream. I, I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. And uh, I will uh, talk to you some other night. Take care, Cloudy. Um, Let us pivot to Penguin. Cow. Um, and now I just really need a deer to show up. That's fine. I wasn't worried about anything. I could have maybe thrown something in front to have the turkey buff it when it got resummoned. Yeah, okay. Um for now. We'll lose a summon, but it's better than having no summons when trying to pivot to summons, you know? Yeah. Oh, well.
Um, beaver, duck, fish. Lord of the Programmers. The Perplexed Programmers. That, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> also, there's definitely some stuttering going on. Okay, yeah, the phone's a little bit warm. Uh, I know what they mean now with, like, needing to get a heat sink, so um, I will be looking into that after this stream. total entries for the giveaway speaking of which um, if you haven't already entered into the giveaway um, I have that down in the description below and uh, that is open to anybody so yeah um, sure let's combine these well we have to do this now <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's grab this and quickly any well, um, let's sell this. We have one of the combos here. The pant hats. Squirrel? I'll sell the fish, too. I wasn't feeling too great with the potential of the fish. Okay, so... Pump up those stats. And we'll level it. Eventually, I think we're going to go for a hedgehog, but um, need to get, like, the core of the team up and going. Scorpion. I'll take that. Achoo. Take whatever their big thing at the front is. Nice. I'll replace Mosquito for it. Sell mosquito by squirrel. Uh, new. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, apple for two gold. It's my only scaling right now, so sure. Uh, 
and seal. Yeah, I might grab that and then swap out the scorpion for the hedgehog. Scorpion for scorpion. Ah, two pills. Lovely. <laughs> oh, oh. Um... We still have seven wins to go before we be done. So I'm, I just realized we're on one health. So um, not super hopeful, but it seems to be working. So um, for two gold, we'll just throw these on. Um, we'll throw a penguin in for now. I remember the good old days where the penguin would hit four pets, like it would hit all of your teammates, and then the penguin would hit three teammates, and now it only hits two teammates. I'm dead. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> Uh, ant double buff. We've seen this before. The soft geeks. The soft geeks. We might actually win this one? We drew it. I'm happy with that. Uh, and yeah, we'll grab a duck. Ugh, excuse me. Yeah, we'll double up the mosquito. Double swan. Extra gold. We love it. We love to see it. This one's pretty, but very bright. It's kind of like a flashbang to see it, you know? <laughs> Combine swans for it. Uh, we sell to purchase swan. Dog? No. We already have the dog achievement, so I don't even care. So part of my um, eye fatigue might have been I was wearing the wrong pair of glasses. I have one pair that has a black frame, and that's, um, my far, like, my day-to-day -day glasses, the far away use. Um, and then I have another pair that's, um, my computer glasses, and I was not wearing my computer glasses. <laughs> it was a little bit of an issue there. Um... Let's see. I think we're still wanting to go for a hedgehog. Or 
Or maybe we're preparing for... Yeah. We're preparing for a bison. Yeah, hopefully next turn we can um, double level up and see a bison. The new system in the test server is really nice, honestly. Hippo. Uh, I have the hippo achievement. Um, I have the whale achievement as well. Hmm. Do I grab the hippo? No, I think I just start scaling this. Okay, um, combined blowfish. I, okay, I keep saying pufferfish instead of blowfish. What, uh, what's the difference between a pufferfish and a blowfish? Difference between pufferfish and blowfish. Some people consider both blowfish and pufferfish to be overarching names that apply to all species of fish that can ingest water to enlarge themselves and scare away predators. For fish of this sort that has spines, while pufferfish applies to those that have smooth skin. To make things more confusing, these fish species have all sorts of other common names. Porcupine fish, balloon fish, bubble fish, globe fish, Okay, so loosely speaking, pufferfish and um, uh, blowfish are the same things. Yeah, let's combine monkey. Let's sell the mosquito, get monkey in here for some extra scaling on the blowfish. Oh my goodness. A and the bison? Yeah, let, let's get the bison in as well. Okay. I think we sell giraffe. Bring in bison. Level up. Rhino. I have the rhino achievement. I got that in a weekly pack video. Um, insert episode number here. <laughs> so. I think it was the thumbnail for the video as well. But also my memory is very foggy. So who knows? Despite what anyone says, I'm still going for the hedgehog achievement. You might not believe it, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm dead. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay. I think I'm going to play one more weekly pack match um, and then call it good for this week or not for this week, for this stream.
Fish. Goose. Goose. Nice. The creamy astronauts. The creamy astronauts. <laughs> if you have a name generator and you don't pick the most ridiculous sounding name, are you even playing the game right? <laughs> Uh, mouse, mouse. Uh, let's purchase the mouse and we can save the fish. I should have put the mouse at the front. Rip. Combine Tamarin. I think we just start pumping up the Tamarin. Uh, we'll do this and that. The goose actually works a lot more like it works better than I give it credit for, you know? Meerkat. There's like manta ray meerkat. And weasel. Oh gosh, I see an actual like halfway decent build. It's meerkat, orangutan, um, manta ray weasel. I have to go for this now, don't I? You know what? Give adjacent friends that much stats. So I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Save that for next turn. Yeah. Oh. There, there's like actually a group of pets that all work together in this custom pack. Not custom pack, weekly pack. That makes it work. And I hate that I saw that. Lynx. I'll save Lynx. Lynx probably goes in for the flamingo. Okay. Staying alive. Um... Sell Flamingo, get Lynx. I hate that sound. Uh, we'll get Garlic for here. Um, we're looking for Weasel. Oh my goodness, okay. We have the Tamarind level up. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Turkey. Uh, that can help with our pivot, actually. So not incredibly helpful right now, but like that'll be part of the pivot. Anonymous. Um... Yes. 
do I put okay 1619 onto here I think that's what I do for now why did I sell that other pet what pet did I uh, it was the goose Weasel. Um. Yeah, maybe we do that. I'm looking for a orangutan. I'm looking for... Um... Manta Ray. Those are the other pets I'm looking for right now. Manta Ray. So, I think we combine these. We purchase this. And then we sell turkey. Is pill in this pack? It is not. Because tapir pill would help us, like, find others of the same pet. This is... To be clear, I don't think this is a good team. <laughs> it is just a team that I saw. But yet, we're at six wins, so... Maybe I don't know what a good team is. Um... Uh, sure, we'll get another Manta Ray for now. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> sure. The real MVP is that Tamarin. We're at 18. It caps out at 30 gold. Maybe? Maybe. Probably not. Um... Yeah, we're going for the level 3 meerkat, so we should. For every 3 gold spent this turn. So, it is 5 sets, so I give plus 10 attack to these two. Which doesn't seem like a very good strategy. <laughs> but also, where's this orangutan? I'm really needing the orangutan to show up. There's an orangutan. Or maybe I just throw peppers on them, you know? Um... No. No. Pepper. I guess I'm gonna start doing more of this and I'll, I'll get more peppers. Feels a little bit weird, but... There's three leopards here. Um, yeah.
There's a leech in this pack, right? Yeah, there is. Um, I could do this and look for a leech. Because the leech will make it so that um, this temporary health becomes permanent health. This is starting to fall off a little bit. <sighs> what? What's with all the manta rays? Why are there so many manta rays? <laughs> Uh, I'm selling the weasel. I, I gotta get more manta ray. Right? This this is what the game's telling me to do. I need more manta ray. Uh, <laughs> more manta ray, right? <laughs> I like I, I wasn't expecting to be doing this Ah almost y You're somebody's pulling my leg what's going on here? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do this. There's a leech. I'm gonna do this. We lose out on a bunch of gold. But. This converts to permanent health, and I think that's really critical here. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, we would have lost that anyways. So I'm glad I did it then. Um, go here like this. Um. There's the orangutan. Okay. Let's see if we survive this. Yeah, we have four <laughs> level threes. We had four level threes? That was a strange game. To be honest, like, that was just a really strange game. Like, I, I had a lot of fun, <laughs> surprisingly. But, uh... Yeah, not how I expected that to go. Okay, we are at, we're almost at the nine hour mark. I think that is a good place to wrap up this day, debut day stream. So I'm going to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this very long stream. Um, we played through some Wild Frost, we played through some Peglin, we played through some uh, Slay the Spire, and some Super Auto Pets here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, and you're still here, uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'm sure you love all the other streams and videos that I do on this channel. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with uh, some more Breath of the Wild. Uh, and then yeah. Uh, I had a great time today. I hope you all did too. Uh, make sure to um, enter into the giveaway, which will be pulled next week, Saturday. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, friends.